a squad. All right, there you go. You're no longer Robo. Ugh. Do I need to start over? I was you kind guys... of. I had to quit. I had to leave the room and come back because uh, right. of derps on my end. Right. This is the world of Grants. In this world, uh, some thousand plus years ago, the entire world world fled to this area because of a rampaging goblin hordes that couldn't seem to be stopped. Everyone found shelter behind the wall. Not a, Most don't know why the wall was in being, but everyone's thankful for it. In Grants, everyone has to serve in the military for a minimum of five years. You all are fresh recruits. You have done one year of basic training and then one year of specialized off on your own with your own group and masters. For the past two weeks, you all have been put together and have been tra training to be a squad. Okay, so when do we get our ODM gear? <laughs> uh, besides that, each of you will be expected to serve those five years. Now, we are going to cut back from that to two weeks ago. As you all wake up, as you're all dropped off as by your prospective groups and assigned to a cabin, you all don't know. You, you haven't met each other. You don't know who he, in each other is. You just all kind of slept over on one night. You're waking up. You hear the drill sergeant call, Aaron, get the hell up! You try to cover your ears, but this voice is coming inside your head, not over a speaker or anything like that. Get up, get out, and get your assignments ready. And you all wake up I grab and my meet gear. each other. You're, yes, you all have your gear, you all have your stuff, and you're meeting for the first time. Go. All right. Okay, so are we like in each indiv in like different barracks, or are we like all in like one like communal barrack? One. Or one cabin. You all will be spending the next two weeks in this cabin, regardless of race or sex. You are here to learn how to operate as a squad. Okay. So trust everybody's in the cabin now, or they just like yes. getting it. Okay. You have just woken up at the crack of dawn. All right. Well, nice to meet all of you. I am Katila Serna. Pleasure to meet you. Thank. Like bow and start looking around. Good morning. I'm I'm Jean Zinlar. You could just call me Jean. I didn't expect such a rude awakening. Military life. Uh, we were told to get to our assignments. Where are those, Neil? Uh, from what you guys understand, you need to get dressed, get your beds made. And get to uh, PT duty. You are doing it as a squad. Your particular squad is assigned to be peeling potatoes for right now. You have not been given any other duties. You don't know why you've been given that this duty right now. You suspect because the drill sergeant is trying to teach you all humility. Uh, out of character, we all look to Red Fox. Bryn is just... Quietly doing curls on the floor and looks at everybody. Uh, how's that name spelled? B R Y N N. I'm, I'm, going get, I'm going to get dressed and make my bed. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Grumbling under my breath. As you all get your uh, make your bed and get ready, you hear a second time. Squad three, what the hell are you still doing in there? You're supposed to be out here 60 seconds ago. God, I hope we're not. I, I need to be squad three. Good thing we're, 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 we have good time. I'm going to keep making my bed. Same here. <laughs> What's our squad number? You don't know yet. You all were dropped off in the dead of night by your mass, your by your uh, train, your specialized training master, and basically put into this barrack and told to go to sleep. No one knows who you suspect. If you think about it, I want 
No, you don't need to make any checks. Uh, what's everyone's intelligence modifier? Plus four. Uh, hold on. Um, plus zero. Plus, plus two. Plus two. Carrie, uh, you're the only one that kind of gets this right now. You suspect no one knows their number at thinking back how you were dropped off, and you very may well may be squad three. I start making my bed a little bit faster. And... Haste to make some waste. Bryn's just going to hop up and head outside. Just uh, bed's already made, been up for a while. Uh... The second you open the door, you see a dwarf with a nice braided black beard, crew cut, and he is fuming. If if you didn't know any better, you'd swear this was a fire dwarf because his face is that red. I close the what? door. I close the door. Oh, hello. Are you supposed to join? I just close <laughs> the moment I see a dwarf, I just close the door. You try to close the door. It is broken off of the hinges, and you are now holding the door. I need you to do a strength check. Uh, strength save, you mean? No, a strength check to hold the entire door by the handle. Okay. You fall to the ground prone, clutching a door that you did not expect to suddenly be only supported by your own arm. How many beds are in this be bunker? Uh, enough for each of you. So one per bed. And two extra. And two? Okay. I'm going to turn to the dwarf. Um, we already have these five beds. You can have one of the other two. I'm going to forgive you this one time. You don't know who I am. I do not. I... We have not been introduced. I'm Sil Simon Valois. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm your drill sergeant. Oh, see, so you should have started with that. Drill sergeant Baron. And you have approximately 60 seconds to get your ass on that line. And he points behind you and you see a stone line. Get right. yourself to that line for inspection, as everybody else is already doing PT, and you're the last group to get your ass to the line. All right. And he I turns or he turns around and just walks to the line, goes across it, turns towards your cabin, and waits. I'm already on my way to the line. I'm on my way to the line. Same. Bryn looks at the door. Bryn shrugs. He yeah. has made, by the way, he has made no mention of the door. He does not care about the door. Yeah, Bryn just shrugs. Uh, and very uh, nonchalant. We're just going to leave it there. Yeah. And walks over to the line. All right, is that everybody? Yeah, I think so. Simone's yeah. gonna look at the bed that is only half done, shrug, and walk to the line. <laughs> How's your right. still? Baron? No, C1. C1? Yeah, Simon. Oh, Simon. Simon. He is French. He is fancy. Simon Verlois. <laughs> All right, Squad 3, I've to been told you're the most promising of the group. I don't see it, but I don't care right now. You get one excuse. This happen again, you all will be digging up those latrines and putting them over there. And he points at two different locations. You have two weeks to learn how to work as a squad. You have two weeks to pick your squad leader. You have two weeks till your final assignment and hopefully your graduation. Uh, he's he is you see him tr chewing as if he has his mouth in a certain position as if he had a cigar in it but for some reason every time he puts his hand up to it he sighs he is not a happy dwarf he is you can see that he is middle age he's about 150 
he definitely has wear and tear on him as he walks up and down the line. You have 30 minutes to get those potatoes peeled for breakfast. After that, all squads will report back to the line and we will go over your basic training. Dismissed! Take my way towards the potatoes. Take my way to the potatoes as well. Where are the potatoes? You Maybe. don't need you don't need to ask that question because across the way is a giant pile of potatoes. Now, you all have you all have a particular question in your head. Seeing this, there's no way you're peeling all of these in thirty minutes. He never told you to. He never told you how much to do. All you know is there's about three hundred people on this base as of right now. Because you, one of you looks over and sees a sign with the current population. You don't know why they have that up there, but you know they must have a reason. That's a rather odd sign. And that's when the bird flies in and it goes to 301, and the bird flies in and it goes back to 300. Yeah. Well, let's get to work. I'm not going to make y'all do any checks of this. This was just getting y'all into the mindset uh y'all cut the potatoes y'all take care of it you do as i want you know everyone give me a dex check just dex plus proficiency so dex save for those yeah yeah Yay. this will be a group check 22 hmm. why is that just giving me bad for that Weird. I got 14. Also, I got a 22 to brew some of the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I mean, one or two potatoes. A nice little lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can oh, take them. I, if you give me a sleight of hand check, and you can try to pocket them. I can pocket potatoes to make You can a pocket brewing. a couple of potatoes. Oh, if I you see, want. That's to brew some I... vodka. Never mind. I see, uh, I see where here, my let me go. Is. Uh, I've been waiting on his flux. It's been okay. two passes, two fails to cut enough potatoes at this point. So uh, I want to state that Simon is making a lot of huff about cutting a potato, but is only working on one potato throughout the whole thing. He has not <laughs> cut any potatoes, <laughs> the, but is acting like he is. So you are voluntarily failing the check. Yes. Is what you're, okay. Y'all, okay, what, collectively. You know, you, you, you do realize. Uh, <laughs> It's a great way to get a uh, a dagger to the back. <laughs> this I mean, is how squads function. But this is a good way for Bryn to be able to easily smuggle with that 23 inside of hand those potatoes out. You get advantage on this? No. Did Do you have Can something I... that gives you advantage? No. I mean, you know, they'd be distracted Not, by okay. yelling. No. You try to pocket a couple of potatoes. And you get one in your pocket, but as your but the other one falls to the ground, and as you are feverishly peeling the other ones, you can't help but notice that the potato on the ground has suddenly become a second potato, and you fail to pocket two potatoes. <laughs> um, well, you you all think you've done enough. You you feel like it's been thirty minutes, and you all rush back to the line. Um, how's everybody looking? Probably sweaty. Dashing. <laughs> Just fine. Alright. I'm handy with a blade. You hear a door slam open from across the compound as, uh, your drill, your drill sergeant walks up and says, Why are you all five minutes early to the line? And he looks at each of you, and he's waiting on an answer. Sir! We have finished potatoes ahead of schedule, sir. I want a deception check for him not to turn his head and look at the pile. <laughs> as as Bryn's saying that, I'm going to cast my illusion and create a pile of pure potatoes. <laughs> what, is your, what is your deception, by the way? Why? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I want no. I want two checks. 
I want a slide of hand checked for our friendly bard. And I want a deception check from our monk. <laughs> wow, the lowest possible. Roll the fucking one. All right. The drill sergeant looks at you and walks right up to you and say, Boy, I know you're lying to me. And I swear to God, if I tilt my head and there ain't a pile of potatoes over there, you and your squad will be in that fucking latrine for the next week and a half. He turns his head. Now, fortunately for all of you, Simon was stealthy enough that he didn't, that the drill sergeant didn't see. And he looks over and he sees a pile of potatoes high enough for the entire, the entire camp. Well, I'll be covered in shit and called Mary. You did it. Fine. Five minutes, he looks. Four minutes of R&R. R &R. You may go back to your bunk and figure out what you want to do to the rest of the squads or hair. And he turns back around and walks back to his uh thing. I Brin stay in. I, I just stay put. Brin's just grinning and trying not to laugh. Simon is going to high-five Brin and walk over to the pile of potatoes and grab one. <laughs> 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 just gonna take <laughs> I'm just gonna take some of the non-peeled ones for... I take mental note on who to kill <laughs> for reasons alright is that what everyone's doing uh, Kiri do you want to yeah. do anything uh, cast mend on the door <laughs> uh, wait never mind I don't have that spell prepared never mind Okay. I, so I guess I, I take out a back. pipe and I and I start smoking it. Okay. All right. Is and then when a minute and when there's a minute left, I put the pipe away and extinguish the pipe and put it away. All right. You're gonna hide a bottle with potatoes in it. As you're as you're all as you all are lazing about or doing on your own, you see three other squads bust their ass. Uh, back to the the lines in front of their cabins. Uh, uh, I start going. <laughs> uh, I want I want a perception check from one of you. Now, someone may help you with it. I'll so assist. they roll with advantage? Yeah, with advantage, uh, if someone would like to. Um, is this a passive or active? Because if it's passive... It's, it's an active. You, you're kind of looking this is a collective check at the same time it I just want one I'll of you to assist. Yeah. I'll roll Here's it. My assist. Well no, you don't roll. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you, you don't. don't. No, it just okay. you do the help action and that grants someone else. Oh, in right. the... Yeah, yeah sorry, just anybody... Pathfinder's on the mind. Yeah, does anybody beat a plus five? That's pretty fucking meta. Yeah, that's pretty meta. I mean uh, yeah. I From think... what you've seen so far. Who would you like to do this check? Okay. <laughs> Bryn, Bryn is one of those people that takes points, so she's kind of All right. snooping. All right, so as you're looking around camp, this is the first time you've seen this under the sun. You have three sets of latrines on the east side of the camp. You have the mess hall where you did, where the potatoes pile was next to it. You also see various meats, various spices, various grains, bags of grains on the side too. Uh, next to your cabin is three other cabins. One, no, four other cabins, sorry. One appears to be empty, but the others are packed. You'll notice that, you'll notice that no one's batting an eye of anyone just standing on this line. This is a common occurrence. You will see every once in a while you'll see someone walk by. They they don't mind you, they don't look at you. They just walk by. Everyone seems to know pretty much what's going on at this point on this in this area. All right. I'm gonna stop on the passerbys. Hello, what can you tell me about this line? 
This lawn is where the recruits stand when their drill sergeant tells them to do something or they're waiting for them. Have you been instructed to be on the line right now? I don't remember. Todd, I have a small drill sergeant. His voice doesn't carry very well. Yeah, don't let don't let drill sergeant Baron hear you say that. You're gonna be over at those latrines for the next few days. Now, I re recommend if he's giving you R and R, or if he's uh, told you to wait, you wait on the line. Which is exactly what I'm doing already. Yeah, I didn't I'm move. A, I just decided to shrug and just stood there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my flute, flute and start playing music while I wait on the line. <laughs> <laughs> he never said anything was wrong about that. You'll That's notice great. that you'll notice that a squad down the way, uh, down in what what if if you are third squad and this is third qu cabin. They are first squad and first cabin. You hear a harp start to be playing from that way. Uh, 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 soon after the flute starts being played. Down from y'all on in what would be cabin four, you still you hear someone pull out a cistern. What is it called? Is it pronounced cistern? A cistern? Yes. Yeah, no, what is it? What is what is it called? A sitar. A sitar, yes, there you go pull out a sitar, and there's a pretty interesting ditty going on right now. Everyone seems to be relaxing. Everyone seems to be nice and happy for about a minute. And then, and then Baron bust out. I hear music! That is a mighty fine ditty! I respect a group of soldiers that learn to enjoy each other's company. At the same time, it is now time for a refresher for your basic training. And we are going to cut from this. Okay. Now, I want you all to discuss a little bit. Over the next two weeks, you get a refresher course of basic training. Each of you shows what your specialties are to each other. Uh, you, all, you go through team building drills. Except that, I'm distant at all times. That I'm going to give you all a chance to say how, how, how you would act during. But what I need from each of you right now is during this time, a squad leader has to be picked within the group. Okay. About a week into all of this, your drill strategy says, today, today is discussion day. You have the entire day for each squad to figure out who they believe should be squad leader. And we're going to there. Okay. Yeah. So we're at the point options. Well, I think I could be a good squad leader. Oh, no, 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 you wouldn't work at all. Distant man cat, would you like to be a squad leader? I glare. I thought it was a cat man, not a man cat. Which one would you prefer, man cat? Or cat man? I glare more. Ah, oh, no, this isn't going to work. I don't think he likes us. Maybe it's because I have squeakers. Possibly. You at least have a name, man cat? Cat man? Reluctantly, I give the name of Smoke. Smoke? What's the command for Whisper again? Uh, slash, slash w. w, and then the, the person's name. name. Okay. Hmm. You know we're together for five years, Smoke. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of time spent alone if you don't make friends. Is it really gonna be five years? Or is it gonna be three years because we've done training for the last two? To be honest, That's I'm just a quick I'm clarification on that. I don't, it doesn't matter. We're we're gonna be around uh, for three years at least. Yeah, at least. You, well, each of your trainings would have been as you were becoming into adulthood. Uh, what would have happened is basic training, everyone were reported to for your general area to that. Well, um, 
you five would have been plucked out of basic and 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 because of you've shown some sort of promise for something and would have gotten an extra year of specialized training you'll you you'll notice everyone generally if you find someone on the base right now of your age that is a recruit you are all of the generally the same age um but and you are going to spend your exam what you know because this would have been told to you whatever it ta how long it takes you of to complete your exam and the extra time up to five years is required service okay okay yeah. so after that we got five years okay yeah so we have five years together right oh. mm. yeah Wait a minute. okay so i very uh... much enjoy your music uh, simon thank you well, many people so, do yeah, simon's a good choice you don't exactly get a lot of good, good music selections in nature yes um, they seem they tend to repeat the same thing yes <laughs> I'm sorry, did Simon just basically say nature always sounds the same? Yeah, when you hear frogs go, bud, wise, er, after a while it kind of gets boring. Alright, really? continue. The frogs that I know just say Froakie. <laughs> uh... So, basically it's going to be between, uh, let's see, yes, I have, uh, hey, what was Anne's character's name? What was yours? Jean. Jean. I say we do uh, rock, paper, scissors. What was yours again? What was your uh, specialty again, uh, son? I am a paladin. Ooh. All right. At this point. Okay. To be fair, we technically didn't really we didn't really know that one, so that's at least a fair question to ask. At this point, I want. Whoever would like to be leader and would like to make an argument to uh, give a persuasion role. Okay. Well, I think I could be a good squad leader for us. At the very least, when out in nature, I know what to look for, at least when it comes to tracks. Possible things that we could use for like supplementing our uh, rations and stuff like that. As well as being able to ensure that we have the best chance of survival outside. Besides, as long as being a druid, I can at least uh, change shape to at least uh, to another shape that would allow us to like get a good scent of what might be around us, be it friend or foe. That makes you a you good get advantage. not a good leader. Though. Carrie, you get advantage. Hmm. I need that. That makes you a good tracker, though, not a good leader. If you want to be a leader, you need to be able to organize the team, set roles. You know, we have you as a tracker. We have Simone as a uh, secondary scout along with Smoke, both technically secondary scouts. Uh, I don't know your full capabilities, Simone, so I can't say where else you could be useful. Uh, do you, you just, you, every time you've seen Smoke at ease, he's uh, just... Hand, uh, handling a dagger. Making sure it's sharp, inspecting it and such. Yeah, All right, so uh, I pictured Diplo, him juggling it. Diplo, I want a flat roll from you. You don't get advantage. You, 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 you tried to make a good argument, but there's too many holes in it as of right now. Oops, sorry. Flat roll. 16. All right. Yeah. Is anybody else wanting to be the squad leader? Damn, I... <laughs> I thought for sure Flux would throw his hat in the ring. Oh god, no. Too much too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally blow all these rules out of the fucking water though. I can't deal effort. with us monkeys uh, for a I'm year. I'm not gonna lie. One of the reasons I asked for what the whisper command is is because I was gonna lie. Are you sure Simon's not gonna do a minute long ditty where he charms everybody? No. See the see. honest thing is like Rin all right. is honestly thinks of herself as a bad leader too she only thinks of one possible person as being a good leader and that's the group as a whole N number one oh, is the first to have their head chopped off number two gets invited to the parties but it is not nearly as perilous all right well with those but... roles it was gonna be it was gonna be a hard to beat unless you had you know it wouldn't have been hard to beat 
Oh God, <laughs> damn it! He did put his head in the hat. No, I was just, just doing a check. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> had my hopes up. I wanted Debard to be the leader, but that's no, not. No. I uh, was going. I, I was going into this knowing full well that I was not going to even attempt to try to be a party leader. leader. All right. Yeah. So, I'm look, looking at the two weaklings, I just say, no, neither one of you gets to be squad leader. I, I see your lack of strength, your lack of discipline. It is All nothing. Right. Make a persuasion roll. This this isn't strength based. This is based on how well you can convince everyone else. That you will keep it, you will keep this group alive and on task. I will yep. stand in front of the party, not hide behind everyone else. I will lead the charge. I will keep the forces at bay while you cower in your little hole. <laughs> this is a, a vision. Oh! <laughs> I have a vision of this man dying soon and never reappearing in this <laughs> in our story. When he um. When he uh, talks about cowering in your holes, a dagger flies right next to him into the bedpost. Uh, so Bryn is now... I infect the dagger. <laughs> I say, you, it's a little unbalanced. You should try again. And I toss the dagger towards him. So... Okay, I am not having roles for this right now, but this is amazing. It's fun. Bryn... Bryn All right, is just laughing. Bryn is uh, just laughing. Tentatively, tentatively. Uh, God, I gotta look at your name and try to pronounce this. Tentative. Uh, never mind. Tentative. Gene is is after arguments, after drinks, after food, after discussions, after boastering. The party agrees to allow Gene to be squad leader for now. Everyone also kind of agrees to let Castilla, is that how you pronounce it? Catilla. Catilla? To under any circumstances replace him if he proves himself to be unworthy. Yep. And like I say, at the very least, when we're outside in nature, I can easily keep us alive. All right. So, that is the circumstances of this. Now, we are going to cut to it is exam, it is exam day. You guys have become a pretty argumentative, but when it came to the illusion drills where you had to go after targets, you were pretty effective taking out what needed to be taken out rather quickly. You, yep. you somehow, even though after the first day have a impressed drill sergeant baron and he promotes you to first squad which is a meaningless title everyone knows it is it's essentially it's essentially just to make everyone think they're competing it's a threes monogrammed <laughs> well we're now at number one yep yeah. Oh, that's a ton of three into a one. I guess we can give these to the other few three. <laughs> Let's keep the three. Because three is really a nice number. It is. It is. Okay, we, okay, we can make it into a B. The, the best. Yes. Anyone here good at tailoring? <laughs> uh, kind of? You, smoke. A dagger is like a small needle. Can you tailor? I rip out the three from the fabric completely. Well, so now the three doesn't... is a patch. Uh, Smoke doesn't get a, a monogram jacket then. Bryn shrugs because she used her to ski. <laughs> Bryn shrugs like, uh, kind of, maybe? I could turn like some that into, uh, water into very fine ice needles. That, I what? know how to make a disguise. Yeah, that actually would probably be the more accurate skill. All right, as, as y'all discuss this the day before exam day, you go to sleep. Before you go to sleep, your dinner is amazing. It's the best food any of you have had in about a year and a half. Can we identify what it is? It's potato-based. It's, uh, give me a cook. Do you ha are you proficient in cooking? Uh, can I get survival? 
I'll allow survival with disadvantage to okay. try to taste. Would my knowledge of brewing help? No, no, it would not. You know that this is, and I'm going to try to pronounce this, Dimetrodon. Ooh, fancy. Me. It is, gener you know it because you, you grew up in Hearst. It is the largest four meat cattle raised in Hearst. And they are known for being wonderfully easy to cook and taste great. Hmm. You also have fun. you also have various potatoes and vegetables and fruits. And for dessert, which is a weird word to hear from y'all, here to you. So I should need to get the country out. Here to you since you haven't had it unless certain ones your uh train specialized training involved going in certain locations you each get some really nice hot piping hot cinnamon rolls with just the perfect frosting after that you all go to bed you wake up and you hear a familiar voice in your head again it's selection day it's assignment day get up Get on the line! You have two minutes! I get up, I grab my stuff, and I open the door because I don't want to have to have this thing repaired again. We go through our normal routine that we've gotten into every morning. Okay. I'm not you exactly see... sorry you know how to, how to fix a bed, Smoke. <laughs> I, lay on top, I lay on top of the sheets. Yeah, just like it's a, a good little lopsided. Yeah. Just like a that good way, I only have to fix it a little bit. There's, there's mats to that. You're a very strange man, cat. Nope. All right. To the line. Yep. Heading All out right. to the line. You hear as you're getting the line. Far squad into the building. I head into and the you, building. And you see Drill Sergeant Burn, not you. You hear you see Bill Drill Sergeant Burn walk a group of another four members into the building, and you just wait. You hear them come out about five minutes later. You have your assignment. You have your you have your survival funds. Get on with it. And you see all of them go into their cabin, grab anything they've forgotten, and they're gone. You see this done for third squad, second squad. You guys have been standing out here for about 20 minutes now. And then Drill Sergeant Braun walks up to you and goes, You first squad will have the honor of having two missions. One of them will not be required, but it is highly encouraged you do it. What is the mission? Get into the building and find out! I right. push my way in there. Come forth. Alright, head in. Do you, squad leader? Alright, as you guys walk into the building, you see behind a desk and a giant map of Grants is on the wall behind. To the side is a tower of a man. Larger than any of you, and bulky as fuck, and this is what you see. You do not, he has not spoken to you, you do not know who he is. But he is, and you can barely see his eyes peek through, and he is looking each and every one of you up and down. All right, first squad. I've been told, this is not this the man of the picture you're seeing, this is the man behind the desk. I have been told. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, first squad. I've been told that you're the best of this batch. You will be assigned a six week long mission with a second stop in the middle. Your assignment, take this picture out, is and he turns to the he turns to the map. 
Your assignment is to leave Pune and go over both bridges as he starts drawing and a magic line appears above the map. You are to go down south. You are to travel as you see fit, either through the forest or along the plain. Here, and he 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 points to here and crudely draws in magic a house, is a mansion. This mansion is, we have reports of some strange going here. This mansion has not been used in many years. The last one that, the last person to live there disappeared of mysterious circumstances. We've been meaning to burn it down for many years, but every once in a while someone expresses interest in the land. Your job is to find out what is going on there. You may not, you do not have to do this, but it is strongly encouraged and advised you do. From there, you are to travel back across the bridge, the bridge down above Quinn, and you are to go past the, past one of the smoke towers. Uh, would anybody like to inquire of what the smoke towers are? What are these smoke towers, sir? All your life, you you have seen these unbelievably high towers. They are known as the smoke towers. If there is ever a breach in at the wall, the tower that it is equated to has a smoke color. And every tower will start burning an alchemical smoke to warn everyone. Each major town has a smaller, a smaller tower that also does the same. This is known as the warning system in case the or the horde ever passes the wall you are to continue and you are to go right here right back sorry yeah I'm, I'm needed right you are to go right here in this area we have apparently our mystics thinks there's a gobbo portal and your job will be to close it Now, from this, who here is uh, uh, trained in alchemy? I think... Actually, I don't know who would be trained in I'm alchemy. not alchemy. No, sorry. Arcane. I'm sorry. I said the wrong word. I'm... Arcane. All right. I would like you to make an arcana check. You know very little about the uh, goblo portals. The only reason you know anything despite the fact you have never firmly studied it, is from rumor and, and uh, from a passing paragraph in a book one time you looked at. You didn't fully read the book, but you just kind of skimmed it. Gobble, por halfway through. Yeah. Gobble portals are thought to be a wild magic teleportation, a chaotic mess known to kill as many creatures that pass through them as survive the trip it is they are normally only you don't know how they're made you don't know when they're made you don't know who makes them that is about all you know would you like to share this with the group it's yeah okay I'll share with them actually no I, I won't we're in the middle of briefing once the briefing's over yeah i was waiting for that once there you are to close it when you are done and you see him reach he turns back around reaches into um reaches into his drawer and pulls out a crystal now which one of you is squad leader i am and i s stand in intention all right I want each of you to stand in front of me one by one. I'm going to touch this crystal to your chest. Okay. And then I will be handing it to your squad later. I stand up right in front of him. He walks up and he touches you with the crystal. And you just he just mumbles something under his breath and then he tells you to get back in line. I, I do like the same. What would, would like you like to, to do? I would like to do an arcana check to know what that crystal is. Go right ahead. My character you just know assumes exactly what this is. 
you have read in depthly on this because of your various adventures you have always wanted to have a quick escape out just in case you've never quite been able to make one but you have studied them in depthly this is a timed teleportation crystal it attunes to up to 10 people and at it either on activation or after a certain amount of time will teleport alive dead pieces doesn't matter to a designated spot okay all right is everyone else stepping up to the line to get uh to have him touch you with it i, I already said i was all right he touches you he mutters waiting for, every waiting for everyone else to go so i can be yep uh we're gonna assume uh, Diplo does. does. Yeah, we're gonna stand up. All right. He touches your chest. He mutters something, and he tells you to go back to the line. I mean, to mutter under my breath, it is impressive. I understand. <laughs> he looks at you and he goes, "That's why you're first squad." He says under his breath, "Before you leave, this is why you're first squad." And all right, and that's everyone. He then turns to you. Uh, Gene John. goes, John. He goes, like Jean, like Jean de Arc. Yeah, okay, John, John, Jean, 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 Jean. Jean. We're, we're just gonna French? think of we're, Jean we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna simplify it to John because fuck you. Is there another <laughs> Frenchman in the group? <laughs> Stop trying to make complicated names for our DM it's who has hard. trouble saying Stanima. It's, honestly, <laughs> it's not. Name. Yeah, honestly, it's not his fault. I said it right three times before now. Yeah, so, this is, John... This is, our DM is the person who can't say Stanima correctly sometimes. <laughs> so, so yeah. John, he walks up to you. He says, so you've been selected to be squad leader. Yes, you are to keep. You are to keep this on your person. And he touches your chest with it, mutters unto it, and then hands it to you. Do you, do you put it in? Do you take it? I do. As you touch the crystal, it melds into your hand and is now on the back of your on the back of your hand. Thank you. All right. With that, I release you. Wait, wait. <sighs> That's right. You will have up I forgot to tell you time. You will have up to 6 months to complete this journey. Traditionally, it only take you it take you 6 weeks. But we are giving you plenty of time to get it done. After that time, you will be teleported back, and I hope you have good news. If you all die, your effects will be delivered to your families. With that in mind, I am going to introduce Advisor Harris. And he points to this man. He will be coming with you and overseeing this. His job is not to help you. His job is simply put to watch, judge, and if you need advice or if you need help, to ask him. This will be factored in to your final grade. Keep that in mind if he is required to help. Is this clear? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Here is each of your allotment, and he pulls out five bags of 50 gold. This is your allotment for this certain journey. On returning, you will be rewarded based on if you do both tasks. Keep in mind your monthly pay is affected by how you do. You are dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. I guess uh, salute. And uh, six and uh, head out. As you turn around, as you start to turn around, you see from the map the uh, the magic lines in multiple colors start to fade. And I hope someone kept a mental note or wrote down on your own map that one of you has mm -hmm. the path you were supposed to take. Yeah. All right. Here we are. You all are, you all walk out the door, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. You all walk out the door. 
and you're free now to do as you see fit. The only thing you notice, and the only thing you notice as you walk out the door, Drill Sergeant uh, Baron salutes each of you and gets back to his job as you see a new round of recruits come into the camp. All right. All right. Well, let's gather our things. All right. And be off. What else do you think we should bring? Considering that's a little bit of desert territory there. Not quite as. Um, uh, to, yes. I, I should have told. The, the light green is, is mostly, think, not lush plains, but plains. It's mostly grass. And uh, that is where you have been for the most part. All right. The brown, consider that. What's the terrain that's rocky but with light, uh, plant life? Wait, are you calling that right here green? And why am I blue? Why the f- Oh, it's because I didn't fucking- mm. It's right. Yes. This is your considering green? It's dark green. Because that is so not green. Eh. Not to you. All right. This area is rocky terrain with scattered plant life. Okay, that's all the information you need. Once you get down here, though, where he told you to go, it it will be hills and small mountains. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm. This would be common knowledge to you. This is not something I would need you to roll for or anything. And just, just for the record, this is trees. These are hills. These are mountains. Carry on. Okay. It's, uh, there's probably not going to be as a lot of life and stuff that could easily be caught, so probably should get at least some rations to at least help supplement ourselves there. Mm -hmm. Out of character, we all start with five ra uh, five rations. Kerry, was that you? That was you. Yeah. You would actually know in this area, wildlife is pretty abundant. Okay. Good. All right. The only place in this country where wildlife is scarce would be in the white areas, because that was essentially cut and carved clean, except for a few isolated pockets to build Bastion. Which, even from Pune, you can see towering above the entire continent. Okay. All right. Seriously, though, why why are we playing Attack on Titan except goblins? It's it's something. Actually, it's I never thought of Attack on Titans when I made this. Oh shit! <laughs> I've never watched Attack on Titan, so I have no idea. What Me that's neither. About. Um. All right. So. Unless there's uh, any other supplies you feel that we need, I believe we should we should be okay. St standard camping equipment. Uh, yeah, got we uh, have our standard uh, equipment. Uh, let's see, does that include in the explorer's pack? I suppose adding a tent might be nice to the because the explorer's pack doesn't carry that. None of the packs carry a tent. What was our advisor's name? Harris. Advisor Harris, who is just quietly following you right now. I'm going to turn around and wave to Advisor Harris. Hello, Harris. Hello. Hey, I have a qu few quick questions, just to pass on to the group leader. Are there anything, anything you're scared of? Like, we should avoid caves, dark forests, underwater, you know, to make it easier for you? No, I will no? be fine. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, speak now, hold your peace. You're funny. That's what I strive for. Harris says we can walk through monsters. Sweet. I'm glad that this is information that you have decided to share with us. As you say this as jest, you see Harris lift up his giant morning star as big as your head, hoist it on his shoulders and say, pretty much. I shrug. Is it time right. to go? 
Yep. Yep. This is if nothing sweat. else, let us go. Yep. All right. So, how are y'all traveling? Are you traveling at a fast pace, a standard, or are you trying to be stealthy? Wait, hold on. Standard pace. What are we doing? Mister Pewin probably has horses. Never been down here. But... Yeah, let's check to see maybe for horses. Stuff that always assist on the way. If you want, I already, I have a donkey and wagon. Do you have your own horse, Harris? Do we have to cover for you? Or will you just run along the side? I will be traveling however you travel. Okay. You, uh, you take from Harris that right now he is just being observant of the group. He is... He's he's not being standoffish. He's not being boastful. But he his job is to observe how you act, and he is trying his best not to influence your decisions. So far, you're doing better than smoke, at least. So, where's those horses? Um, right. you Pune, besides being the town of trading, is a place where all manner of craftsmen come to, uh, to sell their wares and is known as a pretty heavy trading town. It doesn't take you long to get to a s set of stables. Right. After you, group leader. Hello, good sir. Anybody here? Mm -hmm. uh, you, hear, you hear banging in the distance, and you look in, you see a man currently fitting a, a, hor a horseshoe on a horse, and he yells back, Ah, yeah. I'll, I'll be with you in a second. All right. A minute. A minute goes by. He walks up. All right. What What do you need? Ah, soldiers. Mm-hmm. We Are require you? choir horses. Ah, off on your off on your final exam, I see. Well, that is correct. Well, two things. One, and he turns to advisor Harris. Hello, uh, Harris. Are they allowed to have horses? Harris turns to him and goes, They've not been forbidden. All right. It'll be fifty it'll be fifty gold a horse. That includes feed for th three weeks, saddle, and the promise that you will re return these horses. They know how their way home. Once you no longer need them, send them on their way. Okay. All right. I everybody, fifty gold. Well, no, easy cub, easy go. I understand that we are in need, but that is entirely too much for a horse that we have to return. You can buy a horse for fifty gold. Roll Th your persuasion. Thirty gold on no sale. Simon has not, has convinced him, and he says with a smile, "Good job, laddie." And he says. 30 gold a piece it is. He hands back he hands back 20 gold to three of you. All right. We're going to assume Diplo also hands over 30 gold. Yeah. I'm going to hand over my 30 gold now. Okay. Hey, you a drink for this, don't I, Simon? All right. Looks like all of you are set. All right. Harris says, "Do you have my horse?" "Yes, sir, I do. He's right over there." You see Harris walk over, grab his horse, and it is a mav m marvelous stallion. You see him reach down and seem to talk to it for a second. And it actually, astonishing to all of you, bends down to allow him on it. Are we going? Nature boy, can you do that? Uh, I sorry, na speak. nature girl. Yep. I, uh... Except the uh, druidic isn't exactly the language of the animals. It's a spell, so talk to animals. So, no. I don't Let us be on our way. Prepared. Very well, good leader. All right, you have doubled your traveling speed. That's how I'm going to rule horses. Typically, it's not supposed to do that, but I'm going to allow it. I, I actually will turn to Flux. How, do, how, what do horses do for a group? I couldn't quite uh, look get a uh, solid answer to that. I mean, I just did double. Yeah, all right, double. Like, the moment you start taking into track like land speed and shit, it's just way too much hassle. 
right. You, you don't three five. Speed. Um, do you guys uh, are, what pace are you traveling as? Uh, standard. standard pace for now. All right. So what would have taken, what would have taken y'all? What would take y'all about a two weeks to get out of town and over the bridge and to the forest? You all do in about a week. Okay. Uh, camping and uh, uh, would you guys like to do your first camping out? Uh. Or would you rather just skip it till the camping net right here? I'd be up for it. Your first right. camping is right here. You are just right outside the first bridge over <clears throat> the the river Pune. And you are camping for the night. Yep. Making impressive making an impressive uh first day travel. And during that, I update my spell list. My prepared spells, anyway. Can you talk to horses now? I can't speak to animals. I can do so. What's my horse's name? I ask, uh, I ask, uh, Simon's horse. What is your name? <laughs> my name is Edwin. Edwin? It's a fine name. Your horse is named Edwin, Simon. Glad to know that. Well, I'm gonna get to work setting up my tent. Yep, so I've set up my tent as well. You hear, you hear from the back. Another horse goes. Go. Are we eating now? I go and help set up the feed for the horses. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm giving the one that said that a stink guy. Are y'all eating rations or are you foraging? I'm going to go and uh, help oh, wait, forage. Katilla, hmm? I'm gonna whisper Katilla over here. Okay, I head over. Go talk to Harris's horse. See if it has any secrets. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Harris. Is Harris anywhere near his horse? Harris is setting up his own tent right now. Is he away from his horse? And his horse is uh is his horse is with the others currently eating eating the grains that have been put out. Okay. I just uh walk up and just like pat the horses uh, like on their uh on their heads and I get to Harris's horse. So before you we can even speak, he says. Looking for secrets, eh? He can speak to animals too, can't he? You're not the first group to try. But he will be impressed that you did. We were not told Harris how good... not to do this. We were just told to accomplish it. Harris? Harris will treat you well. Don't worry about it. He's, not, he's only lost one group, and that was because they ditched him and left. You all be fine. Okay. I've been with Harris for... Going on six years now. So, have you like uh, been on this trail uh, often? At least this sometimes, area. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes groups are sent to the north. Sometimes they're sent to the south. So, is there anything sometimes they're sent upside down. <laughs> so, have you ever gone to the forest there? Uh, just ahead of us. Uh, which one? This one, or this uh, one? This one. I've been down there before. Good hunting. So um, go through there. I'm guessing like typical uh, animals like deer, wolves, maybe the occasional goblin, something like that. The occasion mm, goblins, goblins and kobolds mainly are known for being there when, when, when there's a gobbo portal. You're you 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 don't know what he's talking about because Fl uh, Flux never shared that information. You just know that, that he didn't. Um, but he mentioned it. He says, normally you see every once in a while a ruin. One time, I don't know if I should tell you this because it's probably not, 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 not what you, they would want. You're going to need, and I'm going to need you to do a persuasion check. Oh. I'm making Certainly a perception check just so I can pay attention without 
being too close at hand. Fair enough. Uh, surely you can tell us. I mean, even if it's just something we just decide to do after uh, we complete our job and seeing if there's a Gobbo portal, whatever that is. And he goes, there's good boar hunting down there. Boar's delicious. Every once, every once in a while, Harris will slip me a piece. I know, I know I'm not supposed to eat meat, but he I'll tells me it's boar. okay. If the boar is well cooked, it's good for everybody. Catella, what are you doing? Taking care of the horses. <laughs> and I'm just spying on them. <laughs> With that, I'm literally, I'm literally, I, I can't understand what the horse is saying, of course, but I'm listening to, uh, over, uh, listening to the party member talking to a horse and just keeping an eye on things. Yeah. All right. What you missed, uh, Flux, is the horse mentioned good boar hunting. and Oh, no, you don't need I to know that. I yeah. haven't mentioned that to him yet. Yeah, never mind. You don't need to know. You, you were not I paying don't speak attention. horse. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. Never mind. Even I mean, if he was, you wouldn't I'm be able sitting to next to. Yeah, yeah, even if he was like me, I could only understand half the conversation. What, yeah. I'm I can't forcing understand myself to sit next to Smoke talking about daggers to make his perception roll worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So once I get that thing here, if I uh, head back, with that he he the horse feels like he's told you enough and giving you enough hints, and I and he nod. goes he goes good day, and he goes back to eating his grain. Mm-hmm. I uh, give him a nod and head back to uh, to Simon. Okay. So any secrets? Well. He said that, uh, at least in the woods uh, up ahead of us, uh, you expect the occasional things like uh, wolves, deer, some boar, maybe. Though he mentioned that occasionally you might find goblins and kobolds if there is a gobble portal there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, outside of what we're looking for further south. And that apparently sometimes there's some ruins in there as well. And apparently we're not the first ones to try and uh, glean information from Harris's horse. Though we'd be appreciate, he'd probably appreciate that, at least according to his horse. You should probably pass that on to group leader. I will. Once I get back from hunting, let's get, get ourselves some dinner. So I'll go out and set up, like, uh, my hunting traps. And, uh, go out as well just looking around maybe for like some basic foraging and no i'm not looking for sprigs of mistletoe i'm looking for like other general things like any fruits if like by chance there's fruit trees uh, grabbing some fruit maybe some random edible berries things like that maybe catching some like maybe catching some there's, animals there's there's enough small game in the way uh i want you to make a survival check on me it's gonna be a pretty low dc this is this is a pretty uh, ripe area with life and fruit and trees and all that. Yeah, no, you you have no problem. You you have plenty to make a very decent meal, a scrounged meal for the group. What did my hunting trap catch? You've got various rabbits. Um, you're a little worried when one of the rabbits appears to have spines, and you realize. You've caught a dire rabbit, and you're not sure if you should eat it right now. Huh. Is it, like, trying to bite me, trying to escape? Oh, yeah, no, no. It is It is still alive, and it is not happy to be in that trap. It has, it has, what normally rabbits have, the buck teeth, his is sharpened, and he is trying to go for you every chance you get near him. Hmm. This might be something Simon might be interested in seeing. <laughs> yeah. God gotta... has to stop giggling. Who has to stop giggling? God has to stop giggling. God? Oh. Yep. Yes. Well, I come back to the camp with all the food all I have, and uh, I mentioned to, uh, Simon, to uh, Simon. So, apparently I found a dire rabbit out there. 
Well, that's odd. Yeah. As he says that, he's he holds out in front of you a still alive and trying to bite anything in existence dire rabbit. I, 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 why did you... I didn't say I brought the trap with me. Smoke, can you kill the dire rabbit? I never said uh, I brought the trap with me. Oh, I thought you did. I said I brought all the other stuff that I had there, oh, but I was leaving the trap okay. there oh, with you... the dire rabbit. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I did. I misheard. Um, you. Yeah, uh, I was gonna carry that thing, trying to bite me. Yeah, right. Rin looks at the rabbit. He, he. You see on his. You see. Uh, while he's talking, he has various rabbits, and uh, he seems to have a couple of squirrels, mostly small animals that he's captured. He also be. He's also carrying various. Uh, uh some uh onions. God, what, just just straight onions. He's got a couple of yeah. wild potatoes. There's garlic. Yeah, just he... as a just as an aside, am I the only one who didn't buy a tent? Probably. I did not buy one either. I okay. Because I chose not to. I sleep with booze. <laughs> Simon is my heathen. Oh, so, Catilla, this dire rabbit, did you kill it? It's still alive in the trap. Probably yeah. try, It'll probably be at the point of trying to bite its own leg off. Do you point towards the trap? Yes, I do, and I will lead him to it. You, uh, you point about... about 150 feet. It takes you a second to squint and see. But you see, still, still in there, jumping and madly trying to get away from your snare trap. A dire rabbit. And he seems really pissed off. Petilla, can you still talk to animals? I cast a spell. If I let you go, will you not bite me? Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, not food. I'm not food. Let me go. Alright. Eat the others, not me. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Do I have can a promise you just bite me? No, he is just frantically saying, let me go, let me go, let me go, not food, let me go. He is, is not at... paying attention to you. He is pissed. I cast and bark skin panicked. on myself and just unleash oh. the rabbit. All right, I need you to do a deck save. Bryn pouts. I want to be there. You successfully, while he is, he has jumped away from you trying to get off of the trap. You successfully go from behind him and undo the latch and he is gone. He is, by the time you realize you have undone the loop, he is, he is 150 feet away. Uh, going away from the camp, I assume. Oh, yeah. He is, he is heading, from where you are, he is, he is heading this direction. He is, he is firmly heading away from you. Hmm. So there might be some dire animals in there. Interesting. Something else we check out one day. Yes. Did you injure the dire rabbit with your snare? Considering how fast it could move, no. Good. You do not leave anything injured. Back to the camp. And good job on catching the rabbits. Yep. And uh, when we get back, there, uh, you it's... don't need to. You don't need to make a cooking check. I'm gonna take. Uh... If you were trying to cook in a kitchen or something, I'd make you do such a thing. But because you are outdoors, you are essentially making camp stew and food. That survival check uh, is all you need. Okay. You make a glorious outdoor meal. Those who decide to eat it, it tastes great. Far better than any of you thought outdoor food would taste for your, uh, for your first trip together. So, while we're eating, a uh, question, is Harris uh, also with us? Yes, or is he Harris, saying uh, Harris, uh, Harris uh, partakes of your bounty. Alright. Uh, once he uh, gets his bounty and, like, steps back a bit, I'm going to mention to our group. Yes, he is. Hmm? Yeah, cool. yeah, yes, he is. He takes, he says thank you, and then he goes back to where his tent is. He has his own little fire, and he eats. Okay. Now that he's gone, so uh, I managed to glean some information from uh, Harris's horse. 
at least in the forest uh, ahead of us, at least towards our goal, to our towards our location, there'll be like your standard things you'd see in there. Wolves, deer, small game, etc. There are also some ruins in there. And uh, if a gobble portal is open, you might see some goblins and kobolds. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm going to just stop us right here. These are goblins that kill people. Can we just call it a goblin portal? It seems rather diminishing to call it a gobble portal. Yeah, may as well. We'll just say official reports gobble portal, but between us, we'll just call it goblin portal. Sound good? Oh, you mean you're talking to me, Flux? Yeah, you, you can rename it goblin portal. No, no he, was was saying, he was not yeah, speaking to us. He was not speaking to you, he was speaking to us. Oh, never mind. To which I responded to him saying, okay. But in our official reports, we'll say Gobble Portals, but between us, Goblin Portal. Thank you. It just seems out of infantile. Yeah, it does, actually saying it out loud a few times. But yeah. It's almost like it's slang because from people who hate goblins. But yeah. And it's so. stupid slang at that. So, what I was thinking was this. We have our way of, like, either skirting the forest to, to enter the manor, which is located uh, roughly around here. It should be on the map. Can you see it? No. All oh, I'm disappeared. sorry. The little green dot? Oh, I just put the little green dot in myself. There you go. Now it's now you guys can all okay, see it. Okay, I was actually quite close. Yay! Yeah, because you didn't actually show... You didn't I'm have sorry. that on the map. It, I'm still new to when something is on a token yeah. layer or on the GM layer. Yeah, I apologize. so... And like you said, that's like, okay. So, like, we could either go through the forest towards that place, you know, just to see if there are any goblins in case of a portal being open, or we could skirt the edge. At the very least, in the forest, there'll at least be wild game. So, at the very least, that could help supplement our our rations. So, I'd at least suggest going through there. Do you remember which wild game? There was like deer, wolves, boar. Yes, they I are. wouldn't consider wolves to be game well but... that's among some of the animals you'd see there to a druid all of nature has a course there's the food check for existence except for that dire rabbit apparently <laughs> yeah really <laughs> that was just because i was confused as hell a dire rabbit i have never seen something like to that. be honest i just threw that out there because you had a really high survival check and you thought you know what let's just throw in a bonus all right. But yeah, I suggest going through the woods. Does anyone object to that? I'd just like to take into consideration of going around. It may be better, well suited for our mounts rather than just going through the woods. However, it does sound like that the horses have been through the forest before, so yeah. they may not have trouble now. At the very now. least, Harris's horse has been through here a few times. And for him to know about the ruins, he probably had to have gone through it a few times. So, I prospect that the forest would be a good idea. Smoke, what do you think? Smoke shrugs. As useful as always. Thank you, Smoke. I get a feeling Smoke's going to be greatly useful in battle, but always antagonistic outside. Not if I can help it. I like this plan. If Smoke actually. was a, if Smoke was female, it should, should definitely be a Sundari. You know, I like this plan. Going into the woods sounds lovely. Yep. Plus, being it's a boar. Mm. Yep. Tasty, right. tasty I'm boar. still disappointed that we didn't get to eat that rabbit. Smoke is a man of few words and more, and uh, a lot more assassination. Fair right. enough. Shit. Well, if there's no objections, I'm gonna tell. Tell our advisor that we are planning to go through the woods when we get there. Okay, is that what you do? Yep. Yeah. You uh, go up to Harris. You see his head pop up. He has his helmet off while he's eating. Um, he is a, a, at least to you, he is a built human. He has got blonde hair, brown eyes. It is in crew cut. He seems to be a career military man. There's a couple of scars on his face, but overall, he's just, he's just, uh, looks like any, any other humans you've seen. 
Um, I don't know how to phrase this correctly, so I'm sorry if it sounds weird. Um, he turns up, he says, so you, uh, he asks, so that's your plan then? That is correct. Well, then I suggest we all go to sleep and start out in the morning. As do I. And with that, he turns to you and wishes you luck and gets in his tent and goes to bed. Yep. All right. Walk, walk back. All right. I, su I suggest that we have watch orders. I will take first watch. I will take second. Right. I'll help with uh, first. I'll help with uh, second watch. Uh, third watch. All right. I shall take a second to be with my good friends. Look. All right. All right. So I want first I'll just watch. Take whatever watch. Yeah. I I want first watch to choose between one helping the other. Or both rolling perception individually. Both in the end are essentially just. You're you're still making two rolls. Just depends on which one. Nice. Well, since I'm first watch, I'll just do my perception. Cause I, no, I thought there were myself. two on. I thought there are two on first watch, two on second, and one on third. Is that correct? Uh -huh. No. All right, Bryn, what, what? I know there's one set. Bryn, have you? All right, so there's, help? so there's one on first, two on second, and two on third. Okay, fine. Go ahead and make your uh, roll then, uh, Zon. It's a little creepy a being the only. It's a little creepy being the only one awake. Um, it's it's still. It's it's not fully dark. You do see the moon and the stars come out. You hear you see you hear the sound of critters, but nothing nothing seems to really happen for your watch. Uh once your watch ends, you turn over to who decided to be second watch and wake them up. I wake up well, smoke and simon. 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 <laughs> John and Simon. <laughs> Where do you come from? Is your part of the shift? No, I grab my sleep. I grab my sleeping bag and I crawl and crawl on to the wagon. Just so you know, Neo Tag, I do have dark vision. That's uh, fair enough. Who does most things? <laughs> so I'm gonna roll my perception. All right. Uh. Oh shit, that sucked. Flux, are you would you like to help smoke or would you roll your own? I'll help him because I wouldn't have known he was gonna roll that that badly. <laughs> I'll allow it. You, you you two uh I'm gonna give you a chance in a second. You two seem to seem to be more inclined. It's a second. There's there's a there's a nice quiet to the area. You're not in the forest yet, so there's not a ton of sounds. And you have com you you have company. Uh, would you like to go ahead now? See, I told I told Catilla. It sounds all the same, right? It's nothing new. Just every single bird chops the same song. Smoke. Oh my! Yeah. Oh yeah. Let him roll again. Smoke rebuttal. Rebuttal on what? Nah. Oh, never mind. On my bird comment. Yes. Don't care. You know, you're not a very good speaking partner. With that, Smoke sighs, turns to, turns to keep watch. You guys complete your watch uneventfully. You I, I I blame my ro low roll on uh, Simon distracting me constantly, trying to provoke some kind of response and me ignoring him. As we head back to our tent and wake up, Bryn for Bryn and um, Catilla for third watch. I'm going to cast my illusion to replicate Jean's voice outside of Harris's tent and say, "Harris, change of plan on our our wake up. We'll be two hours after dawn." 
far as you know, he heard it. Um, hi, guys. Morning. Uh, how dark is it? Uh, it's fairly dark. You're, you do see, you, you do see the continuous, uh, magical light from Bastion. Um, it, it towers over everything. It's, it's always in view. Uh, right. you're pretty close to Pern, so you still see firelight coming from there on the, on the horizon. But it's pretty dark. You have a fairly good view of the stars. I'll cast the, a it's, dark it's vision the, on myself. It, it's only a half moon right now. So it's it's, it's not fully dark, but you, you could do better with more light. Boom. Okay. I cast dark vision on myself. All right. Um... Would you guys like to role play, or would you like to just go ahead and get to the procession rolls? Uh, what are you thinking, Ken? I think we can do like a, a th like both of the same. I thing. shouldn't be asking yeah. that. I I apologize. That's your decision yeah. to make. What are you thinking about, Cadillac? Well, haven't exactly been at this f farther. At least uh, where we're going, haven't been that far west or south. Though I admit, I am very curious about this manor. They mentioned that they planned on burning it down a few times, but. It just seems like always somebody kept wanting to use it for something. And the fact you had an owner that disappeared under mysterious circumstances. It's definitely... They probably were killed and maybe raided, but... It still just doesn't, uh, doesn't explain why magic. they haven't been able to deal with it. Uh, it's magic. It's all this hocus-pocus of this. Talking to birds that... You know, at the end of the day, it's going to turn out to be something strange, odd, or bizarre, and we're going to have to handle it. Yeah, pretty much. One way or another. So I'm sorry. Do we have a magical se skeptic in a high magic setting? No, I love the not. idea of that. <laughs> I I do too, actually. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. You you obviously have like a a little gadget on you that cuts that creates fire. You're not creating it yeah. out of the ether. That wasn't what she was going for at all. Uh, and, you know, just you gotta drink and accept these things. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, magic is a thing. But, at the same time, I won't uh, deny I am both curious and concerned. Alright, with that, uh, I would like the... Kiri's already rolled. I would like uh, Diplo to roll. Ooh. Advantage or no advantage? No, no advantage. Uh, Gary rolled herself. So, strength oh. save. Well, Are you're you trying to. You're dealing with the burden that is the darkness around you. You you get caught up in the the fever and start shadow boxing the darkness. You don't know why. I mean, you start boxing the darkness. You don't know quite why you're doing it. But you are. I clicked perception light. Is it? There we go. That time it worked. Um, that was weird. Sometimes the thing shifts on you. Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. You, you, uh, you, you notice, uh, you notice the animals running around, the raccoons, the, noct the owls, all that sort of thing, but nothing really happens. Um, because you had such a high perception check, uh, Castilla, I want you to make an intelligence check for me. Just straight intelligence. Yeah, just straight intelligence. If you have proficiency in it, you get your uh, proficiency bonus. <sighs> so close. Even with a nine, this wasn't a high DC. You suspect that being so close to one of the larger cities, there's probably not a lot out here, especially the city where all the soldiers are trained. You're pretty safe on this side of the bridge. Except for dire rabbit attack. <laughs> Do I sense dire rabbits approaching? He brought his friends. <laughs> <laughs> you see one dire rabbit angrily watch you as he hops around the camp and heads south. <laughs> Can I tell if it's the same one? You, with that perception check, you see a red mark on its leg. Yeah, it's the same one. I think I have made a mortal enemy. 
<laughs> today. All right, y'all wake up. You do what did you make an enemy with? Oh. Eh, a little rabbit down there. And I pointed. Oh, the it. rabbit that I wanted to eat? Yeah. We might, as you we point, might meet again. As you point, the rabbit's gone. He, he, essentially, he essentially hopped up, wanted you to see him look at you, and then ran off. If this is a recurring character, this is going to be a little very, very silly. It depends on what our roles are. <laughs> I might so, have to make that's it the a crit, That's the crit rabbit. He shows up whenever someone crits. <laughs> I might have to do something silly with this rabbit just because you guys have focused on it so much. It was literally just to throw in the rabbit. <laughs> All right, y'all wake up. You find Harris is already awake. Uh, you're, right, you, um, you're expected to? you, you, Eugene are especially disappointed with this because you could have sworn he should have heard you. Hmm. Uh, you're up early. Yeah, I'm Chris. always up early. Hmm. Well, nothing in danger. May as well get everybody else up and so we can get going. All right. I take take down my tent and start to just uh, dismantling the fire pit. Okay. I get up and I pull my sleeping bag and I saddle up my donkey. All right. We're gonna we're gonna fast forward just a little bit. Y'all y'all cross this bridge. It's it's unbelievably big. Like uh, Golden State, big. Yes, and for an ancient civilization, it is it. it well, you know that you know some magic trickery was used to help build this. You don't know yeah. quite how, but you know. But you've you've all been over these bridges before. They they tend to, tend to be made the same way, but they are epic in scale in comparison to what to you guys. You could fit at least five squads across at the same time. Hmm. The engineers that worked on these have done an amazing job. It almost dwarven. looks like it's made with magic. Probably dwarven. Y'all cross the first bridge. Nothing happens. You'll call it the second bridge. Nothing happens. Um, once you're about here, we're gonna we're gonna transfer to another map. Hold on one second. Has there have we rested for more nights since then? Um, uh, actually, it... this would this would be about where you would you would uh, rest for the night. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, I hope this works. We should all be on a different map. Yep. Yay. See you all right. Yes. As, oh God, why is Harris here? He's not supposed to be. That was just a test. Um, y'all, y'all follow a makeshift road. And as you're traveling down, it's getting close to dusk. And you pass a farm. I would like everyone to place themselves as they see fit. Uh, where would we be coming in? From the north? South? Uh, yeah, probably from the uh, north. You would be coming in from up here. You would not be in the farm. I was just placing it on the map first. Fair enough. <clears throat> I'm going to set up this Harvest Moon character. <laughs> you would not believe how hard it is to find a just child civilian that looks like she's helping her mother or something. It was unbelievably hard to find a decent one. It won't let me place myself. It should. You should be allowed to place yourself, dude. It's not letting me. Have uh, you got, you're doing the click and drag? Yes. Okay, so click uh, on the tab thingy. You click uh, the uh, you. that looks like a character sheet. And then you click on your character, and when you're in bio and info, you see your picture, and you click and drag onto the map. Yes, I, I know Red Fox. Okay. Uh, is that you? Working. Yeah, that's Bryn. All right, can you move him around? Yes, I can move Bryn around. All right, no worries. Yep, he can move her around. All right. As you walk by, you you just you. It's a simple farm. Where's in Harris? the front, 
in the front yard, you see a man tilling a small field. Uh, all right, what was this? Oh, Brian is a lady. I apologize. Uh, Bryn. Bryn. Bryn is a lady. Brian. <laughs> uh, you see, you see a small wall about chest high. You can see some cows over the way. You see a bunch of fields down down to the south. Weirdly, you see a ba- a giant brown bear following a young boy who's tilling the soil. Uh, I cast I cast speak to animal in my. You're cell. nowhere near to okay. do that. Okay, so we can't right see now. that yet. Okay. Yeah, no, you can see it. You this is your what you see as you come in into this area. Oops. Bear and I need to try snakes. and make something work because mm. it's not on here right now. So. Bear. Sorry, uh, I accidentally hit another t- uh hot thing on my heart bar. Give me a sec to get back in. No worries. Roasted bear, fried bear, <laughs> bear stew. That is that should be on the DM layer. Okay, good. All right. Um, as you guys walk by, I'm gonna move you all forward collectively. Yep, I'll be there in just a few seconds. No worries. Excuse me, sir. Are you being attacked by a bear? Smoked bear. Oh, you mean. You mean the you mean the boy's bear? No, no, his father was one of them druids, uh, rangers, something like that. Uh, uh that's that's the family bear. There you go. All right. Um, um, what? What would? What? Why are you guys traveling around here? You seem to Mi- be so military weird. business. Please mind your own business, peasant. Ah, military, military. I remember those days. We might have something y'all are interested in seeing around back. Is it a dire rabbit? We've already seen them. Dire rabbit? Are you high, son? I'm very much convinced of that. Simon? I tire of dealing with his people. Take over, party leader. <laughs> oh, Simon. Hey, Simon. Simon, yes. Yeah, Simon. <laughs> Hello. Hopefully in your future. So, you said oh, you, had, you have something you, of you interest to tell us? Yeah, we found him scouting around. And then, well, with the bear and all, he tends to make them dead quickly. And he uh, he starts walking. Would you like to come see? Sure. Well, this sounds like a lovely adventure. Let's I'm go. Going, hold on one second. I want to uh, incite this farmer to make sure we're not about to get attacked by a farmer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Red doesn't care. He is... Te- I can... He is telling you the exact truth. In fact, he's a little proud of his accomplishment, considering he used to be a, he's clearly used to be a soldier, and he hasn't seen action in a while. All right, everyone follow. Okay. As you pass the bear, the boy moves forward, the bear moves with him, and he doesn't pay you any mind. He's clearly used to humans. We found him. We found him scout in the area. God, now I have to go and go. And as you pass, you see a dead gobbo, a dead goblin. He seems to have been mauled, and he's just sitting there right now. Cook bear. We found him scouting the farm. He seemed to come from the south area. We 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 haven't seen him in a while. <clears throat> this would this interest you, boys and girls? Sorry. Cannibalism to eat a goblin. Well, then. You said it came from the south. Yes, it came from the south, as far as we could tell. Hmm. Wasn't particularly intelligent, either. He just kind of walked on the farm as if he had no idea what was going on. Eh, Even if the bear hadn't got to him, we're all trained in combat. Everybody is. Except for the boy, that is. Uh, Neo. Yes. Could I examine the goblin and see if it has like any uh, indication on it that it came from the woods, that it may have come from the woods? Yes, investigation. You're looking for clue. Wow, impressive. Yes, he, his feet uh, seem to have traces of tree leaves. He he has 
He has bits of twigs tucked away in his outfit. You also find two copper on him. Hmm. I take the copper and I give it to the farmer. Ah, thank you kindly. Um, there's any... It, it's getting late. If y'all would like to rest here, we have a guest house down the way. That would be most appreciated, would be. sir. Sir. Would y'all like a nice hot meal? That would be nice. If it would not trouble you too much. You, uh, from your previous, uh, in insight check, you get the feeling that he, there's, there's nothing wrong here. He's just, he's happy to have company. He's happy to see, uh, new soldiers in the field. <laughs> and he and he is beaming with pride over his uh his extended family taking care of this goblin. Yep. He's... All right. Okay. Well, I'll make I'll make sure to tell the wife to make more. Um, God, let me get my notes. That's a yeah, yeah, yeah. David, and he turns to the boy down the way. Yes? Oh, God, where is it? Yes, just go tell your daddy we're having company. You see across the way a giant man, nice human, very buff, but he has an air about that you particularly understand, uh, Callista. This man used to, this man is a druid. He had, you, you can tell just looking at him, he is, he, he has worked in the forest he is one of your kind. Hmm. Another druid. All right, and he you see the boy run off and tell his paw his paw come out. Ah, fellow fellow wanderers of the military. We will welcome you. And he, and you say him go in. He talks to his wife. All right, uh head farmer comes down and goes, "Well, if you would follow me, I'll show you where the house and tents are." Okay. Been a while since we housed a patrol here. Y'all are, are a patrol, right? Um, we have a mission are, to investigate we... some stuff. Ah. That's a sort of. I take it this is your exam, then? Yep. Yeah. That's a sort of. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not as dangerous as they ever say. And he comes down and shows you the house. And when he you... opens the door, we come face to face with a Draco Lich. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our pet it's pet a man. it's a sparsely furnished house. It has a basic sink that is and a, a and which has a fresh bucket of water in it. There's two tents outside. One has a fire pit near it. One doesn't. There there seems to be only one bed in the house, but you're sure you could roll out some bed rolls if you want it inside. Hmm. Or you could sleep in the tents provided. I well, sleep in the tent provided. Well, dinner dinner will be at uh let's see. Gotta in finish. An you know, you know, hour be about, sir. Uh we all eat up at the main house. You can come and join. Alright. Thank you. And he wanders off. After he wanders off, I uh, inform, uh, I tell the party that's present. So that goblin, it came from the forest. So I think we may have a portal to deal with. Are you saying that there's a secret mansion in the forest that people keep wanting to burn down, but others want to keep buying the lands for? That in fact secretly holds a portal? Uh, I think it's the southwest of the portal, of the forest. But there might be something in the forest that we might find along the way. Oh, well, we'll have to investigate when we get to that point. Yeah. What was what was that investigation? Like? Um. All right. No. Uh, that was about he the... has. The, the, yeah, it was twenty three. You you also re take from the goblin that he has been traveling for a while. Imagine. So like days, weeks, maybe. No, you yeah weeks. He's been traveling for a while. He is. You take from his sparse gear, he, he, was, he was clearly designed to go light and alone. This is a scout. This is, he's, he's been sent to scout out 
he may be you you think you know he may be in that forest it may be his origin but it may be much further than that yeah because because you had such a high investigation you you basically saw his feet there was calluses all over him he he has wear and tear he looks he looks dusty and dirty he's been on the road for a while yep so at the very least there's a chance did the that... investigation check uh reveal that his name was jack no, no. i needed a call and I then he hit the road no, no i needed have... a crit for that. you do not know that his name was you do like not it. know that yeah i would need to roll a nat 20 to find that out <laughs> well no he's got little goblin dog tags <laughs> mm. all right okay. um so I can I can fast forward. You have a good meal. You all go to rest. You have a a wonderful talk with the two families that live on the farm. Um, is there anything specifically want to be said during this dinner? So, how often have you dealt with like uh you know, some like dangerous like predators or stuff like that outside of goblins? Obviously, you mean before during the war or before? Uh like within the last couple of months not often every once in a while you get a you get a stray bear or a or a wolf or something but we haven't had much goblins or kobolds or anything like that mm, bear yeah it's good to know because generally where there's one goblin it's usually safe to say there's probably it. others nearby well that's up to you guys to decide isn't it they're fat fried potatoes. You say that, and in front of you is act is a, a bunch of fried potatoes, not bare, but fried potatoes. I'm just going to cast my illusion, and from from Smoke's mouth is going to say, "This food looks wonderful. Thank you for for offering uh, and your hospitality." In Smoke's voice. Wow, that's that is mighty kind of you. I hope you enjoy. And I hope whatever mission you're on is very successful. Smoke, oh, thank you. You're finally okay. I, 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 I so glare, happy. I glare at the mage with with just venom eyes. Simon has the biggest grin on his face. You the have the biggest shit eating grin out there. Br Bryn's hugging Smoke now. I'm so proud. Our fan cat's finally opening up. I know, I just was a bit, felt a bit weird around you guys, but now that we've been on the road for a while, I feel like I can come to trust you guys. Same here. Where's the boy? There's the boy. Yeah. Bryn's going to give everybody a hug. All right. Well, y'all have a, y'all have a wonderful meal. Uh, everyone goes back to their various things. Uh, as, for... as leaving, while leaving the table... I, I I mutter to uh, to Simon. Do that again, and you'll wake up with a dagger in your throat. How mean! Simon's just, just going to Simon's just going to chuckle and walk back to walk, walk back to the guest house. And by the way, no one asked, and no one had discussion. But Simon is taking the bed. <laughs> Simon just takes the bed. Yeah, Simon. Simon did not ask, not offer. He just took the bed. Simon <laughs> <laughs> uh, takes uh, the bed, and then Bryn as a just quick, kind of gets in the bed with him. And like, eh, as a quick, no. just as a quick description of the people at the table, uh, this woman, the one I'm moving right now, is very clearly the wife of the druid. Yeah, she's a stout, very strong female dwarf. Their child is Kim. He, he, he looks humanish, but he is much stouter than you would expect. Wait, a human and a dwarf? Yes. Is he's that still... even? Yes, is that, that is even possible? If yes. DM, if DM Fiat says so. Uh, I mean, the answer is yes. Would anybody like to ask of this unusual pairing? No. Okay. Uh, My character gives no enough. shits. Brings had weirder they seem parents, happy together. So she doesn't judge. Okay. They seem happy together. All right. Um, they're gonna go to their house. My my people or my my uh businesses in the killing of people, not asking about them, and how their life is. I end them. 
I wish ah, there so was you're not more. The, so you don't take the seductionist trait way of assassinating people. No. All right. Um, um y'all all have a nice, nice, uh, nice meal, nice night. You wake up. Uh, actually, I was going to suggest of... saying, uh, doing like maybe a watch. There's really no need. There, there is nothing here has made you think that these people are in any way have an ulterior motive. Oh, no, it's not for them that I'm concerned about. It's like something else coming. Fair enough. Fair Burns enough. asleep already. So I guess I'm the only one awake. I'll I'm take, going to sleep. I'll take third watch with this Cadilla. I'm not going to need rolls. Um, <laughs> nothing happens. It's but a nice... A, a, as dawn comes, okay. Simone is going to walk near the... Uh, Near the guest house, and with my illusion, replicate the voice of the drill sergeant, and tell everyone that they are needed up at the line in two minutes. <laughs> you all instinctually wake up, and most of you think you just had a dream. Tilla's just holding her mouth to keep from giggling. But you all are so, it's been so ingrained with you. Each of you run out the flap and you don't even mind that suddenly you're in a tent. You, 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 you and as you get to where you normally expect the line to be, that's where you, you realize, oh, where the hell did that come from? I throw a dag I, I throw a dagger uh right at at uh at the ground near Sa uh, uh Simon. You keep throwing those away, you're gonna need to start replacing them. I'm gonna grab the dagger and pocket it. I wanna point out that is everyone there Bryn's still sleeping. It's a bed. It's a bed. No. Simon took the bed. Simone took the bed. No, but I got up for third shift. Oh yeah, yeah fair enough. And All Bryn right. just joined him in the bed. She didn't give a shit. Yeah, it's a bed. Tried to join, but Simone did not. Did okay, not fine. Because... You took my dagger. Yeah. You took Achilles one of my daggers. All right. As you uh, y'all y'all realize what's what's happened. You, some of you have a chuckle. Some of you are upset. Some of you throw weapons at at the certain person you think did it. Um, was it me? It was Catilla. A uh, a nice fresh breakfast is delivered. You have pancakes and eggs, um, and you are you that, are that wished... doesn't doesn't work against players. You are wished a. Uh... I said think they don't they don't I no one knows for sure that it, it was flock. Everyone just has opinion on it. Oh, I mean, I know it. I know it was. I know. Yeah, Catilla knows. Yeah, Catilla knows. I, I figured Simone definitely nudge her and said, "Watch this." <laughs> and I figured as much because of what he did to me during dinner. Um, y'all have a nice. Di you have a nice breakfast, and you're uh, seen on your way. You're told not to mind that they'll that the the children will clean up after you, and we leave our farm and our our gob goblin queue uh clue. Back mm -hmm. to the world map. All right. All right. So y'all are right about here right now. How are y'all yeah. traveling? Are you going around the forest or through the forest to get to the through map? Through the forest. I'd suggest going through the forest. Cause if nothing else, we might find some evidence of like maybe like a like a, a taken apart camp or something in the okay. woods. All right. Y'all... Y'all start traveling, uh, because it's, uh, it's not, it's not the huge giant forests of, uh, oh God, I can't, uh, never mind. It's not giant forests, but it's enough. You're, you're, you're slowed to a standard pace as if you were on foot. It's not going to be much. It's not, it's not a major hurdle. Um, I want perception checks from everybody. This will be a group uh, okay. check. With, this will be a group check before you roll with a special rule. You can help someone on this, but that whatever they roll will count for both of you. I'm going to help my best bud smoke. Okay. I am not helping anybody. I'll help uh, Brian. All right. Aww. So friendship. All right. I forgot I didn't need to roll. All right, so that's Too bad we all suck. 
<laughs> That's going to be a 19, a 16, and a 13. Well. As y'all are traveling through the forest, you come to a particularly out-of-place cliffside with a weird with a with a weirdly nice road you you don't understand why this road is here but it is and as you come into this map you see a cold bald point at you through what leaks to be a makeshift spyglass and runs away and we are in for yeah. we are in for here now guys uh, bold. So, like, are we like uh, on the top part? Or... You are right over here, all of you. And at and before you where can react, show that again. Uh, you were on this side of the map. Okay, right here. Before y'all can react, you see the kobold hop three times and run around the bend. Combat is currently not initiated, but we are going to be using initiative order for our action. Which I need to figure out how to do again. What was it? Uh, they a... need to pull up the tracker. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember how to do that. Do I just have to click and then... Uh, God damn it. How do you get initiative, guys? I, I, I forgot. I don't know how you pull up the tracker. I just know how I get initiative by clicking on my like, token and then clicking a, under oh, like the paint and zoom and all that stuff. There should be like a little clock. <gasps> oh, right. The clock. I always forget. There we go. And it's right, now I need to add right everyone. Here. Correct. I think Actually, we just hit then that we get automatically added. If, I'm yep. if you have your token highlighted when you do it. Okay. That was a weak roll. I have a plus five to initiative, and I only roll a, another five. Ugh. Five is lonely. Ah, that's how I do it. Cool. Um... Uh... I'm reloading the world pointer to see if that will let me actually drag and drop my image as a token. Excuse me. Okay. Is Harris' initiative? Uh, Harris is staying in the back. He's That's not the kobold, I think. reacting. Oh, he wasn't. He didn't roll the 20? No, that was uh, the kobold that you saw. Unless anything okay. tries to attack Which him. we're going to explain as he already had his first turn and he used it to get the fuck out. All right, is this your order coming into this map? Arrange mm -hmm. yourselves as you see fit. I can't put Bryn's image still on. Try refreshing. Thing, so I just did that. God, you were uh, having issues. Um, where's yeah. Bryn's image? There it is. Here. Poop. Where? Oh, wow, you're ha right. Yeah, see, you you had a two for a second. Uh, add a turn. What's your roll? I'm rolling now. I got a ten. Okay. And now I click this, and I click sending, and there we go. All right. As you're entering this area, you sp you notice that there is there is rocks and trees to down here, and it that expands. Wait, all across hold on. Who had? Uh, whoops. Where'd the initiative go? Where'd it go? Click the clock again oh okay there it goes um uh, who had that who had that other 10 bren uh diplo what's uh input your uh dex uh your dex spot it's as a decimal point to, it's up to the dm but i'm yeah i'm gonna use whoever has the higher dex yay my dex mod's a five so put point whatever your dex mod is there you go i just moved it around um i don't mind as you enter care. you notice a cliff that you cannot climb on one side 
what appears to be a roughed out road and on the to the south of you seems to be rocks and trees all along the edge whoever carved out this road did a rough job but it's it's passable and as you as you ran off um god damn it as you ran off you heard uh, i need to stop clicking on that as you ran off you just heard him snicker and her and saw him run across who, who who's uh he, he's already done his action how do i turn yeah there it goes it's up to you um i was gonna i was gonna i thought you were about to ask does anyone speak draconic no he's he he did not speak he grunted all right what is your first action going to be as of right now you know there's danger but you don't know where it is funny this is the one of the only times where i didn't choose draconic as a as a language all right i want i want if you can stay at least uh five feet space between all and move forward. So, like, stay five feet away from you? No, five feet near him. No, like, anyone. Yeah. Just to spread ourselves out a little. Okay. Uh, you, you don't... What's your passive perception? Passive perception is a... 11. You don't notice anything out of the order. It... You, you, you just know that he went there, and you haven't seen him since. All right, that's my my mm, um, yeah, I think that's my action. All right, that's the end of your turn. Yep. Okay. Distilla, you're up. All right, I'm gonna use first my bonus action for wild shape. So all of a sudden, then I shall move. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Castillo was secretly a dog this whole time. Eight, nine. Knew it. Wait, was mine? All right, I want Eight. a. I want. I'm going to trigger this. I want a perception check from you based on scent, so you get advantage on it as a uh, dire wolf. Yeah, they're still there, and you you just you pick up a distinctly, roughly ten or so cents, uh, around the corner. So like uh, around like hereish, or like around us all together. Around uh, you around the area where you saw the cobalt run. Well, it sucks. Can't I can't communicate speak. with this. I can't yeah. speak. It sucks. Can't speak, but you know they're over there. They're waiting on you. And I guess, like, as an action, just point a paw forward, like pointing. All right. So where do you point? Uh, I ping the map. Point here. Good. Yeah, like, All right. like two squares below the goblin, uh, not goblin, kobold. All right, is that the rest of your turn? That's really all I can do. All right, Bren, it's up to you now. Uh, uh, that's a rock next to me, right? Is it... Yes, you. It will. It is. It is possible. To pass through that, but it would take not only your entire this turn, but it would take you several turns. It is the what used to be here. Uh, all the rocks and all the all the trees have all been moved to that side. It is a very rough barrier on that side Ooh. of the. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's just gonna move to there, and uh, stretch and get ready for what's coming. Si uh, Simon, you're up. Uh, let's see. Did I skip red? 
Possibly did. Yeah, you did. Uh, Red, you're, uh... You go first, my friend. Smoke, you're up. Semen. That's weird. It sh it, it just went right past you for some It's because you fucked up. Alright, so I am going to... How tall... How tall is this, uh, rock? Oh, it's a good 60 feet up. It's 60? It's, yeah, okay. Good 60 feet up. You can't see the top. It is a sheer cliff, though. I can it, still climb it. I know. I'm just saying, it's very clear this was carved out some time ago. All right. Well, then, I am not going to do that, because that's just... You know what? Yeah, I am. It's 25 feet up here. So that's 25, and so I'm going to be climbing up. I'll be mostly up the way. Okay. That's because good. if, uh, let's see, 15 feet up and then another 10 feet up. So that's 25 feet up. Okay. You are, you are, you're about halfway up. You're, 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 your next turn, you probably could get to the top. Yep. Okay. All right, oh, Simon. More man cats running away. Simon, you're up. The new cats weren't loyal. Well, it's probably because there was a giant dire wolf. I'll make sure to save from some for you, Smoke, by the time you're done with your legs. That's my turn. All right. And now what I'm going to do is fix everything by doing this. All right. Uh, one second, sorry. No, uh, no, go ahead. Um, well, as you are, as you are doing this, See the goblin run back out. He goes, they're there, they're there. And we all understand what he's saying. We all you gave us goblin with uh, sorry, as a yeah, free, not goblin, the kobold, but he's saying it in goblin. Okay, it well, seems weird to y'all, but hey, that's what he does. Hello, little friend. How are you doing? And with him, because you gave us goblin as a free yes. language. And as it's he a, does, well, tastes like a corner. There we go. As he does, you see an entire squadron of about eight other kobolds walk out and point and laugh at you. <laughs> and three of them are going to take... Let's measure this out. That's too far for their slings. They're going to they're going to point at you and laugh, taunting all of you. And, and they, here I thought I'd have enough time to get up top before they come out. And as they do, they're going to spread out a bit. They just they taunt you. They laugh. They're waiting for you to come. And that will be their turn. Gene, you're up. Oh, well. Seems our foe has shown themselves. Keep our eye on the cliffs. We do not want to be attacked from the side. But I think the day shall be easily met. Let's see. Are you going to try and dash? No. I point. I point to the. The, the first goblin. one you saw? Yeah. Yeah. No, the kobold. Yes. First kobold you saw. And I. I point and I. Uh, command it to approach. It needs to make a. Uh, uh, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. See, well, that is not good for him. That is not good for him at all. <laughs> and he crit fails bad. He, he, ha he now has to uh, move to... Right this or on his turn? Um, let's see. Uh... 
Target moves towards you by the shortest and most direct route, ending its turn. So on its turn. It... Right, on its turn, he has to move forward. I'm going to give him a little marker. You can see he is, he is commanded by you. Let's see. What's a good thing for command? Whatever, we'll just put a fist on him. There you go. All right, he he is well. He, he is, is he, well. Fist him up the ass and call him a muppet. He uh he has he his shield and spear that he had is just limp now, and you see him looking dead at you. Is that your turn? That is my turn. All right. Uh, where and I? it is uh, smoke now. Um, I'm not on the initiative list anymore. What? <sighs> Probably because you deleted so your token to put up. Oh, there. right, yeah, because of that. Yep. You probably should have kept your actual token out. Uh, At a turn, what was your initiative? It was a 12. Okay, so you're up right now. I'll yep. fix Notice it. Itself. Do not do that in the future. Just put it to the side. Okay. All right. All right, so I shall... I'll fix it when we come back around to the cobalts. If we come back around to the cobalts, with some of y'all's measurements. All right, and... stop right there. I yeah. need a deck save. why it has it set up like that but oh well you fail horribly as you're walking forward you don't notice the wire on the ground somehow thinking as you're pulling it you you probably should have noticed since you are these are cobalts that they they prefer traps and as as you start to move, you trip the wire and all and small little catapults from the side pop up and cover this entire area with ball bearings. What you assume are ball bearings. It's mainly just very round stones. And you know that, you know, going forward, you'll have to make a save or move at half speed to get through the next few uh, areas. Uh, as an action, I'll just, like, put my paw forward and, like, try and, like, feel about these things. Like, are they, like, sharp? Or are they just, like... No, they are, like I said, they are like ball bearings. They are, they're not made of metal, though. They are made of stone. There is a, if you try to rush through, there is a chance you will, uh, no, I can't say that. Never mind. You just know that it would be bad for you. Do you continue moving? Uh, I'm going to move at half speed then. That was eight, okay. so that's one, so that's eight. So that'd be the max speed I can go then. As you, I, I should mention, as you trip the trap, all the kobolds shot. <laughs> they fell for it, they fell for it. <laughs> and I'd like to note that uh, in her wild form, Cathila's just growling. <laughs> Think like Cujo levels of growling. Puppy. I was waiting for one of you to do an active perception check and none of you did, so... Could have been much worse. I actually assumed this was a cliffside, and they were going to throw rocks on us. So, yeah, that's kind of why I was going to be climb. That's why I was kind of cli uh, going to climb up the cliff. Is that your is turn? That because is my turn. I thought that. All right, smoke. You're up. Well, do uh... you, you get to the top of the cliff? Yeah, I'm going to. All right, I need an active perception check from you. As soon as you get to the top. Uh, all right. You Shit. see nothing. You, nothing's out of the ordinary at the top of that cliff right now. <laughs> Roll not, the fucking nothing, one. No, how? Not even that minotaur. <laughs> that is, however, a large brown mass immediately rush to you when you find yourself on the bottom of the cliff. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Um. 
Do you have any more movement? No. All right. Uh, do you have anything you can do long range? No, I use my action for movement. Okay, well, then that's your turn. You're at the top. Yep. Brian, you're up. Bryn. Uh, Bryn. Bryn, you're up. Uh, Bryn's going to go... Just follow behind the paladin boss and go, so... What's the plan, boss? Boss of Reno, boss of boss, boss... It's first, thing was, first thing was to stay five feet away from everyone. Beyond that, I expect you to do your best in combat. However, mm. do be careful. As you can already see, they are known for traps. Oh, oh, oh traps, I see. You mean the marbles? I do not respond. I'm still concentrating on the kobolds ahead. I, she still has some more movement and she'll move. Simon, what's your dex bonus? Uh, I have a modifier of two. I'm proficient in dex saves. Okay. Yay! Proficiency! Yay! All right. Bryn, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, Brent's gonna just do that. Just walk forward. All right. Simon, you're up. I was gonna slowly start walking as he grabs a, a handful of roses from his pouch. Oh, Simon. And he's going to blow them at the at the cobalt and say, sleep. Oh, nasty! 25 hit points worth of kobolds starting from here and radiating outwards need to go to sleep. No save. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a particularly nasty one. Here we go. Yep. Um, You're going to get five of them with that. Uh, where's I know there's a sleep icon. Uh, This one. Don't worry, John. I understand the five foot rule. We'll fix that. Uh, Sleep. Smoke, can you see me from up there? Can Smoke see me? I'm thinking the old, like, close the emotion. I would assume so. Yeah, good enough. Sleep. And they are asleep for one minute. Sleep. And we're considered gonna unconscious. Go this one. And. And sleep. They are asleep. You you watch as these go got these cobalts have been laughing and jumping and they just, they slow down. And they all collectively do the head tuck and just fall asleep on the road. Well, look at me. <laughs> Good work, Simon. Wolf. Turn around and look at me. You're going to want to see this. I turn around? I use a bonus action for Mantle of Inspiration. Everyone who can see me gets five hit points, five temporary hit points, and can move their, their movement speed and not trigger any op attacks. Nice. Okay. As I take on a, be a beautiful visage, and everyone feels infused with speed and vitality. Nice. Move your speed. Remember, if you try to go full speed, you're going to have to do a deck save. Or you can move half speed through those at that area. Actually, no. What he just cast should negate that, shouldn't it? No. That, this no, is, that's for a of opportunity. Not like oh, this is considered okay. difficult terrain right now. But a special difficult terrain. I, just I, 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 missed, I, I missed her. Are you moving... Uh... Did you Here. see me, Smoke? Yes, can Smoke saw, can see you. Okay, then both of you also get to get the speed boost and hit points. Zoom, yep. zoom. Right, what was Press the, boost the attack. Again? You get a Face. five. Five temporary hit points and get to immediately move your movement speed. Without oh, immediately? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. You are infused with, with un unnatural vitality and speed. One, at my two, sight. Three. You can't move there, you'd have to go up. 
There, that there's a massive boulder in that way. Four. As soon, wait, stop right there. As soon as you cross there, you can't help but see two goblins with their hands on a massive log overlooking. <laughs> oh! overlooking the field of ball bearings they are about to push it awesome so can i continue my movement yes you can now you have uncovered the final trap well it's not close enough to do uh to do that but i am going to attack the uh first the uh, you can this only do one. movement Oh, it's right. I can only do movement. Yeah, okay. Ah, we're spotted! Quick, quick! It'd be rather nonsense if I also give you all attacks. Simon, is that your Forgot, turn? Forgot, it's, it's not actually my turn. That is my turn. I've used all my actions. Well, I hate to say this. No, the I goblin don't. at the uh, kobold has to make his move. Nope, it is not them. Oh, no, it's not his turn yet. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's not. It's the goblins' turn. That was their nine initiative they just rolled. Ooh, uh... But it's up to the dice. It's not up to me. Each mm -hmm. goblin, the goblins roll a uh, combined strength check to push that log down. And they fail! Wait, no, it's a disadvantage. They succeed! <laughs> Wait, wait. Can I deflect missile? This log is too big to be a missile. Like an arrow. It's just a big I mean, arrow. It, it is a big arrow. It is a range You attack. see as the two goblins heave and a haw, and it looks like they're going to fail. But in a final fit, they push the log, and it moves down the mountain at tremendous speed. Let's see. Let's measure this. I had given the log a certain amount of distance. Oh, you! You're the only one! The log barrels into you! I need a deck save! To take half to damage. To take half damage, yes. Oh, I want to deflect a missile. The deflect missile is very Punch specific. It. Jump over it. Do some monk shit. Yeah. Punch it. Punch it like Chris Redfield. You fail and take full damage. You take 12 bludgeoning damage as this massive log smashes into your chest. You manage to stay up. But it is, and it is current, you are currently on the other side of it. You are pushed out of its path. And that's the goblin's turn. So now that we have the goblins on here, it is the kobold's turn. Unfortunately, this one has to move forward. And un also unfortunately, he moves right into the path of the log. Oh, God damn it. Fucking you, log. Move. There you go. He moves there. My God, he chucked the log. Quick, How strong quick, is quick he? Check. Quick, quick question. What? Uh, was that Commander Cobalt doing half his movement speed? Was he concerned about ball bearings when he was... No, he wasn't. That's why he's about to do a deck save to see if okay. he can stay upright. Which isn't going to be good for him. No! He... No, oh, what was that? Oh, that was a minus plus. Never mind. Total's fine. No, he doesn't. This cobalt is fallen prone with a log about to crush him, surely killing his sad, sad little existence. <laughs> he is he is compelled to continue. He is currently trying to crawl forward because he is still compelled to. He has no mind for the log at all. Oh, if we can, can we take one alive? Okay. You see, Wait, I can't. Re I can't respond to that. Never mind. 
We're just going to ask these one or more. three kobolds move forward with their slings ready. And they are aiming for the wolf uh, right now because they that is all they see. They did not, they don't know where the monk is because of the log, and they can't quite see the paladin. That's going to be a 21 to hit. That's a hit. Hey. They don't see the monk. Oh. Nope. Sorry. You're on the other side of a log right now. <laughs> oh, that's going to be six bludgeoning damage. Okay. 11 to hit. Uh, that's a miss. All right. And a 13 to hit. That's a miss as well. You see one kobold, kobold sufficiently hit you right on the nose. It hurts. You could swear your jaw was broken if you didn't know any better. <laughs> but the other, the other two, seeing this, laugh as they fire and just twing, twing, right behind you. All right, that's the kobold's turn. Jane? That log is still moving. Yes, it is moving. It is going to you. You know from what where it's going. It is going to go across the field and smash into those rocks and trees on the other side. Catlin, fall back. And then fall back or get out of the log's way. It's up to you. I'm surprised none of you have any range attack. I, I do. can't exactly do much right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I just took out five fucking kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my rage weapon too. <laughs> you're badass. You took out five with sleep. That is the best. That is the correct use of sleep. I did, however, throw half the party in the middle of, of logs. <laughs> I mean, Brent's okay with this. No, this this is a normal day. <laughs> okay, so Red's got to worry about his one on one with two goblins. I don't think about that. Yeah, it's probably not a bad thing for him right now. Yep. All right. So is that your turn? Well, I aim at the. Keep in mind, all the ones up here are asleep, and this one's about to die. You know that. The only three that are active are this one, this one, and this one. I will allow you to see over the log, if you wish. So you can see all three of them. Yeah, they're at least tall enough, probably. Yep. That probably doesn't hit the Cobalt's AC. What was it? Uh, it's an eight. I mean, what attack are oh, you attacking? Uh I I take a javelin and I chuck it at them. Where's your strength mod? Is javelin a strength mod? Yeah. Yes, yep. that's a, it's a strength based oh. thrown weapon. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they they change things so up a bit. A plus three. So that'd be that's an eleven yeah. against a kobold. You barely miss. You see it. You see the kobold laughing and then just barely sidestep out of the way as your javelin goes by him. And that's my turn. That's your turn. All right. All right. Carry her up. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. You are now out of the thing. You can move okay. as you see fit. Five, fifty, and nom. This is the one that did hit you with a sling. No, you definitely do damage. Roll for damage. It's dead. He's he's gone. You bite his throat out. You are 
pissed. I probably just like shook it so hard like a shark and just tossed the corpse aside. You almost you almost decapitate this uh this little kobold with your jaws. He is lifeless and you have thrown him to the wayside. <laughs> Yep, All right, that's that my turn? turn. Smoke, you're up. All right, so I'm going to have to get a, a answer for something first. This area over here, is this... Um, this terrain? No. No, it, it's not what I was going to ask at all. Okay. Is this higher cover, so can I hide in it? It is tall grasses, bushes... You can okay. attempt to hide in it if you would like. Perfect. Then, uh, using my uh, cunning action as a bonus action, I'm going to move over here with my move action, use my cunning action so that I can roll, uh, do a, a, a stealth check, okay. which is 26. You are which, definitely hidden. As which far gives as you know. me, Which should give me advantage yes. on my roll which is a 18 to hit it's a 20 you or yeah a 20 him. to hit him yep you hit him all right so that does seven additional sneak attack damage plus the 11 he's dead okay you 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 stuffly duck into a bush you are hidden the goblins are looking around frantically and just they don't even know where it, where it comes from. An arrow just goes straight through his neck. You see him gag, grab the arrow. But before he can do anything, he just falls over lifeless. Gone. 5e rogues are much better than 3, uh, three and 4 rogues. Your turn? Yep. Byron, uh, Bren, you're up. Bren is going to go uh, 10, 20, 30, and then all the way over to this little kobold. And she, as she slides out of on that, staggering out after the log hit her, she's going to, uh, what at first looks like a, um, well, stumbling motion turns into an elbow drop onto the kobold. Okay, roll for your unarmed attack. Yep. You definitely hit. Yep. And then... I it's spend... still alive. It's looking hurt. Yep. And then I'm going to spend a key point for Flurry so I get two more unarmed attacks. Uh, as you know, the strike turns into it and she flips over the kobold. Uh, that definitely hits. And it is dead. Up. You don't even get to do a third hit. Go ahead and do it. You are hitting a corpse, though. Yeah. Well, she basically flips over it and then. Uh, Almost like she's still drunkenly swaying from the blow. She walks over to here. You, you, you look dazed and confused from the log hit. You walk over and you just pop that kobold right with your elbow. It, it doesn't know what hit it. You then flip over and smack it in the back of the head. It's it's already dead, but you are so furious. You hit it a third time, and you and you hear its spine crack, and it falls over dead. Bryn just kind of stands there, uh, shakes himself, and says, "Ah, oh, log training again." Okay, is that your turn? Yes. Simon, you're up. This log. Has it dispersed some of the ball uh, some of the ball bearings or are they still all under it? Um they're a little bit dispersed, but it's still considered difficult terrain. What about walking across the log? It's moving. It's still rolling. If you do a good acrobatics, I will allow it. I still wish I could have deflected arrow. It would have been hilarious to catch the log and throw it back. <laughs> I'm, I'm no you try you 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 are proud you 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 know you are confident in your ability and you jump on this log to walk and your foot hits it you're like i did it and then your second foot goes and you smack your head on the ground 
You are prone. Okay. Well, at least it's not going your way. Oh. Hmm. It's going to be my turn, though. Yes, it is. And you still have a little movement if you would like to get up. I get up. And do I have any... I don't believe... You have... You'd have about five movement left. You could get one more square over. You can see the kobold. Um, I'm going to hold my action for if that kobold comes any closer. Okay. Keep that in mind. It is the kobold's turn. Unfortunately, most of them are asleep because of somebody. And considering they are not a particularly smart or wise race... You mit you skipped someone. Who? The gobble. The gobble. Ah, uh, You killed... You destroyed... You deleted the goblin that was on the initiative. Sorry. You, the goblin turns to you, looks... It turns to look around. It's frantically searching. Wait, no, you attacked afterward and didn't rehide, so it knows where you are. Um, I can't rehide. Yeah. It knows where you are, and it rushes you. You killed my buddy! You hear in Goblin as he tries to... I'm gonna go with a scimitar slice. Mm -hmm. Double! And that is... Oh, not bad. A 14. That does not hit. You nimbly duck out of the scimitar and the Goblin just looks at you, spits it towards your direction. And that's the Goblin's turn. Okay. As I was saying before, the kobolds are not a particularly smart race. Or why? Does the log still keep moving? Oh, right. Yeah, because right. that's that's the other thing I wanted uh, to know uh, about. Not the kobold is dead. This guy had no chance. He was mind controlled, forced to go forward, tripped on his own trap, and then killed by the log. Like a can of toothpaste. Just he is out. he he is gone. Uh, that's the wrong thing. I deleted. Whatever. Um. You. These were supposed to be on the map. Careful Where's about it? deleting in me is your initiative order. Yeah. Okay. Um. He is dead. Dead. So he, I'm going to put him over there. Just yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why we tend to put X's over characters. Like you know, for example, yeah. like like yeah, this. Fair enough. That's, that's really why good. the death icon is. A good thing so you don't uh, keep deleting your stuff all right uh the log continues rolling and smashes into the rocks flies over them and and down off the map it's job done though well, not without to the degree it planned, taking it? out any of, without taking out anybody well nobody except, important except for maybe the one that thought up the trap to begin with <laughs> Satan Freud. All right, this this kobold rushes towards. Would you like to make your action? I don't now? think he does. As that kobold rushes towards, I need him to do a wisdom save. Oh God, they are not good at that. Okay. Your friends are dead. The only hope is to surrender and follow our commands. Okay, suggestion. <laughs> Uh, okay, I I am going to say that even though Flux, I hate your character's personality, you've built a really good uh, spell uh, allotment for this character. I love it. He freezes, drops both weapons, and goes and just go goes kneeling on the ground, heads over head over his head. Goes, no kill, no kill. By the way, this continues for eight hours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, jeez. No kill, no kill, trap fail. Boss stupid. Boss get killed by own trap. <laughs> Bird points at all the others. So swaying still. Um, no, just kill them. We oh, okay. Them. She just drops her heel into one of them, snapping the neck. 
Your turn. All please. right, you kick out one. I mean, I it's bet not... what she's going to do. She's no, going to get not... turned. Not your turn. Not your turn. I know. I'm looking for an icon that means essentially. Essentially, Simon's bitch. <laughs> yeah, essentially. How about bending you know over? I like this one. I like. Holding your head and essentially mat bullshit coming out of it. Hit ski scared shit. All Actually, right. I think that is the official icon for for terrified or frightened. All right. Um, it is Jean's. Uh, it is that is their turn because the other ones are asleep. Jane. Oh, I'm just. So it's a uh, double my move speed going through here. Um, at this point. Enough of it has been dispersed that okay. you can you can travel normally. There are there are if if there are impressive amounts of sling bullets or makeshift bar bearings still on the ground, but it's not impeding movement. Um. Can I? I probably can't see uh, smoke at all, nor the this goblin that I'm not. Unfortunately, you can barely make them out up there. They would have three fourths cover from where you are right now. I end my turn. I'm sorry. No, I was like, I was like, should I? Do command again and see if I can make him walk off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Kiri, your turn. Nom on that one. That one is dead. You don't even need to roll. You have advantage in a and crits. These goblins, these goblins are screwed. Yep. And the fact if uh, if Brian stays in that exact spot, I have it. Def Actually, it's still advantage either way. Yeah. No, it's done. Smoke, you're up. Okay, so. Seeing as I'm still in brushes and stuff, <clears throat> I can still try to make another stealth check. I will let you, if since you're right in his face, I'll let you make a stealth check with disadvantage. Okay. 22. He doesn't know where the hell you <laughs> are. You were there, he blinked, and you were gone. So, I, um... Uh... I'm going to, oh fuck, crit and you, sneak attack damage. He's dead. <laughs> you, 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 what you do is you just crouch down into the grass. And he's like, where are you all? You're, you, oh, uh, you would have disadvantage with a short bow and melee, dude. You miss. Really? Yeah. Well, it would be canceled by a stealth. No, just... it would cancel. I canceled out of melee. Still crit, you're right. You're right. No, he... Straight roll. You, you... Fucking I just don't get this? the sneak... If I don't have advantage, I don't have the sneak attack, but still. Just pop out of the bush and point blanks. Shoot a bow at a man. <laughs> what kind of weep shit is this? Like execution style with a bow and arrow. It's, no, it's not weepy. It's Robin Hoodie. <laughs> he looked, he's looking around and as he turns his head an arrow goes through his under his <laughs> uh mouth and through the top of his head he's gone so um for my uh Gosh, no i don't need to they're gone is anyone left is there, is combat over effectively just to clean up now <laughs> technically no Okay, so... But that's... if you would like it to be, technically it could be. You have okay. one kobold surrendering for the next eight hours, and four kobolds who are asleep for another 45 seconds. And to be fair, soon it's going to be one kobold asleep and three dead. Okay, the reason why I was asking, because next time I'm able to... I'm picking up the uh, two uh, 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 two goblin bodies and tossing them off the uh, cliff. Um, I will. I will ask. Do you guys want to just consider this mop up, or do you want to continue it's in the uh, pretty much order? mop up at this point? I just wanted right. to describe Bryn, you know, stomping one, and then basically when she does it, she 
slides backwards and does a dual elbow drop onto the other two. All right, bolts. so we we're gonna have Bryn take one out. Who else would have taken out one of the sleeping kobolds? Definitely me. Okay, I was just referencing because I want. Yeah. Because I, I I just want the rest of the party just to see all of a sudden dead goblin bodies flying from the uh, uh from the cliff and to the ground below with a sickening food as they uh as y'all are starting apart. to finish up the last few kobolds you see two goblin bodies just fly off the cliff and your uh companion smoke just standing proudly looking down over their smashed corpses well done smoke you want to join us for some goblin killing or for some kobold they're all the same really no they're all they're, by the time smoke gets back down they're all dead yeah Question. Like they think. Uh, flux. Oh. Uh, Neo. There is one left. He is just, he is crying. He, uh, you all surround him. He is sad. Yep. He, so, he looks at you yeah. like, sorry, sorry. I only do a bus day. I only do a bus day. Oh, a uh, quick thing, Neo. I uh, just did a quick yes. look up. Technically, this, uh, my avatar should be bigger. It should be considered large size. I was just thinking like 4E rolls where you're basically a medium sized version of whatever. So fair enough. Yep. So you got a very big angry dire wolf screaming down at it. Hey, sorry, sorry, what what? What what? Want to interrogate this one, party leader? Even though you can't understand her, she's basically like tries to grunt a <clears throat> She You do, do smell, do... Tilla. Me tell what no, me no much, me no much won't be tell what whoa. He is, he is scared. He is starting to not make sense in his words in Goblin. He is I, just... I suppose to help you And uh, here. you oh. in your direwolf form smell urine. He has definitely peed himself in terror. <sighs> I turn around and try to sniff around outside the area. Can I smell other goblins or kobolds? Or no, I just the, the, urine? The, the rest of the area is... Do you want to interrogate the subject, party leader? That would be Zahn. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm. I'm just sign slash role playing it. Okay. Where do you come from? Gobble portal. Me survive. You will lead us to this gobble portal. Eight hours, party leader. <laughs> that is a suicidal command. He refuses. Tell us where the gobble portal is. In Mountain Valley. South. I, I bring out a map. And I, and I just... And I point to... Okay, where we're going to go to the main map for this. Me no know this map! <laughs> what this? Is this your? Ooh, this make me very, this make me very high rank. I know this now. That's very good for you. Now, you said south, so, and I point to around he yes, here. Yes, he that seemed right. We travel long. Good. Good. Does anybody else have any questions for the kobold? I uh, actually um, uh, smoke steps uh, right behind uh, the uh, kobold. While it while and it... Uh, and says yes, and immediately, well, decapitates him. Ugh. That was my kill. I wanted to ask him, do what do they taste like? Technically, I'm the only one that he, knows that. He's looking up at you like desperately trying to live. He doesn't even he doesn't even register smoke. And as as he's about to once again beg for his life, his head just kind of slops <laughs> off. Smoke, bad kitty. Very good. Uh, he confirmed he our sense. intel. He was of no further use. Bad kitty. No. I agree with you, smoke. 
I was going to do it myself if nobody else had any questions, but good for the initiative. Katila goes out of wild shape into regular form. I was curious. All right. I was going to try and ask like about the manor if somehow they've like been coming for, if they maybe have some dealings in that area. But anyway, can't do much about that now. We'll be fine. All right. We have right, confirmed. We have confirmed that the portal is not in the mansion. Yeah, right. but you are you are still being one of your missions is still to go to the mansion. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, yeah, we know this. It's just yeah. the go the uh, the cobalt was of no further use to uh, our All right. questioning. All right, yeah. it is ten o'clock. Uh, this would be normally where we would stop. Which is good for which is actually a good place to stop. Uh, would you guys like to continue at eleven or stop uh, here till next week? Uh, what is everybody's schedule up? Uh, Flux, uh, are you able to keep going or? Was... Yeah, no. Since my new job, I'm good. Oh, so your hours are better. Yeah. Okay. All right, then we can continue till eleven. Then. Okay. A uh, quick question, though, Neil. Anybody have uh, anybody dispute this? I kind of have the deal with the fact that my birthday's tomorrow, but that means I can actually do to eleven. So. Okay. That's all right. So it sounds um, like we're all good. Yeah. All right. A uh, quick question, Neil. Yes. While in wild form, how, how exactly did the cobalts taste? Vile. Well, and to be tough. fair, it was tough. It was I, it was like a rabbit, a starved rabbit. It's stringy, tough. There wasn't it just ugh, terrible. No good meat. No good. Oh, it, that's no, sad. it was not a good meat. It tasted like shark, if you didn't cook it right. Yeah, it t it tasted terrible. Because you know sharks expel their urine through their skin. Honestly, if you weren't if you weren't enraged, you might have had to have done a con check. It tasted so so terrible, not to instantly hurl. It's probably a good thing I was in wild shape, because for all intents and purposes, I am just that creature. So yep, it probably the taste buds would probably be different. All right. Uh, as you're mopping up, you are you feeling help. all right, Bryn? You took a rather large hit. Uh, you know, I'm fine. That just hit me in the side. I've had worse. As you are starting to notice the carnage around you, um, you can't help but notice that the only thing useful seems less behind is these these very nice, uh, round, perfect stones some are marble even they're they are very nice if uh anybody wants sling bullets I'll or take a couple handfuls of or something i'll take a couple handfuls okay but that's the only thing in the oh. area the kobolds really didn't have anything on them uh, oh um you say that is neotag yes it's probably too late to ask this because I already threw off the uh, threw the bodies off the ledge before asking this. But uh, was I able to recover any arrow? Uh, per the rules, you recover half your ammunition used. Okay, if you so take ten minutes to search for it. Something like that. I think it's a ten minutes or an hour. You have to. Okay, then I search then for I any... did... Yeah, you get half of your ammo back. So I definitely did not get it back because I tossed the bodies off. Beforehand. Oh no, they, no, the arrows are broken. They are smashed. Yeah. They are lodged in gobbo and broken and. Ugh. Didn't think of that until just now. I was like, oh wait, I should have tried to at least get one of my arrows back. <laughs> Her uh, Advisor Harris walks forward and it completely disables the trap and starts to clean off the road and pick up the bodies. Uh, does anybody help him? I do. Yeah. He, he kind of gently walks them over to the other side of the road and just toss it, starts tossing the bodies in a big pile. Kind of hard oh. to do that with the goblins, though. They're, they're kind of street yeah, people. He can, there's enough to pick up. <laughs> um, uh, it's only 60 feet. Um, he says, well done, well done. Uh, we should clean up. But other than that, well done. Oh, thank you, Mr. 
Mr. I don't remember your name. Advisor Harris. Uh, Smoke yeah. actually speaks up and and says to Harris, and actually uh, mentions to Harris, I don't think this was actually expected, was it? Anything's expected. Trolls go out every day searching for... Just check. That will be part of your job for the next five years, maybe. Going on patrols, walking the, walking the roads, walking the pass. Smoke shrugs. Fair okay. Enough. All right. Let's this clean is... up, round every, round up the animals, and let us make way. Ad Viker Harris. All right. Uh, y'all are starting to head into the forest. You make it about here, and then it. It's uh night. It's starting to become dusk, and I. Because you are in this forest, and because you got the information from the horse, we are going to quickly go to this map because I have to do this to hop. And hop to this one. Only those that are going hunting, I yeah. need you to appear down here. Do you want a monk to help you by punching things? I don't go hunting. Sure. I think yeah. when the rest of us are making camp, I uh, climb up a tree and uh, just take a, uh, take a view of everything before it gets before it's time to actually do anything. Advisor Harris is going hunting. Uh, Bryn is going hunting because it means that she gets to punch things. Okay. Uh, yes, you're having issues. I will do mm -hmm. that. There I'm gonna stay behind and uh, make camp. I don't think uh, I will do very well. In okay. A hunt. Before you, the map is not this bright. It is. It is. It's night. It is dusk. There is a. There is enough light for you to see, but it is definitely not fully visible. There are areas of dim light that would be disadvantage. Um, there is even a couple of areas of darkness around some of the rocks and trees. You, I want, I want stealth checks from everyone. Not to be seen. Whoops. And I need to look at my notes. Sorry, wrong one. Because we are going full hunting. I had the wrong notes open. Sorry. No problem. And that is boars are on page three nineteen. I am sneaky. Three nineteen. You could cut yourself on the edge that's on Red Fox's character. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, the passive perception of a boar is nine. So they have no clue you're there. The deer, right. on the other hand, also have a passive perception of nine and have no idea you're there. <laughs> so, goes out saying, uh, I'll be letting down a, a trap, like uh, somewhere easy enough for them to get. What you now what you see is they are they are firmly around this bush and these uh these rocks. They seem to be digging for truffles or something. You don't know, but you know. You know, as a I know druid, enough about enough that you know they're probably digging. You know food. enough that they they dig in the ground for sustenance. Yeah, the deer is at the edge of the thing. It seemed to be eating from these two bushes here. Ooh, berries. Yes. Hmm. Which means I can make vine. Advisor Harris seems to have a a very nice long bow out, and he is just dialing one in. But he is waiting for y'all to make the first move. All right. I'm going to carefully and quietly start by moving up to this bush. Okay, give me a another stealth check. Because you are now moving, not hidden in so plain sight. Hidden. Hidden in plain sight is more my speed. Uh, that was right by the bush. 
Uh, was that your second stealth? Yes, it was. They still don't know you there? Lynn's going to head... Uh... Now, I know this map is sparse. It's because I didn't want to use the same map, but there are more bushes and trees on here. Um, I did. I I forgot to add them. Yeah, so. Bryn's gonna move from tree to tree. Uh, her goal is to get over to this rock so she can uh see what type of berries the deer are eating. Hmm. Uh, do I have to make another self check? Do I take my time with this? Uh, you do have to make another stealth check to keep moving. Okay. Uh, I'm just adding trees. I am. I didn't before. Okay. And I'm sorry, I got caught up in my thing. You bet you you kind of stumble on a pebble, but and you see two deer look up in your general direction, but they don't seem to notice you. They just kind of go back down. All right. And go back to eating the eating on the bush. Carefully and quietly move. Well, I'm actually underneath the tree right now. Oh, I am sorry about that. We should be on the map layer. Another stealth? Uh, no, you can maintain your current stealth. You do not have to roll every time you move. Okay. You are barely making it over to that bush. You, you, for some reason, you don't know. You are having a hard time maintaining stealth. Maybe that log hit took more out of you than you know. But, uh, you still, they, they still don't seem to see you coming. All right, and I'm going to quietly and carefully move to here. Okay. You see one of the boars pop its head up and look around. It seems to be looking in your direction, but it doesn't seem to alert the others and goes back to digging in the ground. Okay. Now I'm going to take out... Wait one second. Uh, okay. What does the monk do? Uh... She's gonna let her companion get lined up with the shot on their their boar, and she's going to line herself up for. Um, well, she's gonna go punch a deer in the face. Okay. <laughs> this poor deer is gonna be like, "What the?" Before he does that. Yeah, no, that he's saying he wants you to shoot, and then as soon as he sees that, he's gonna jump out and try to punch a deer. Yeah. Uh, okay. I am going to take out my spear, and I'm going to throw... You have advantage on this. Yep. And you are targeting this one, correct? Yep, the one that's closest to me. All right. Gonna go punch a deer in the face. You're, you're nervous for some reason. You don't quite know, and you hit it, but just barely. And as soon as it hit, all the other boars look up, and you know they're about to start running away. What's your damage? It crept in. Ah. It hits him. He's mad. He's bloody a little bit, but he's fine. Well, then I'm prepared though to uh, burn a spell to at least try and deal with the other two, with at least uh, these guys. As you do that, Harris lets loose a uh, arrow into this one, and he just falls over dead. And the monk shoots out to punch a deer. What was Harris's roll? I want to see Harris's roll, Neil. It was a GM hidden roll. You don't need to see it. <laughs> punch a deer in the face! AKA, he doesn't want to show just how beefy this dude is in his rolls. Yep. Because mm -hmm. he's probably level like fucking twenty. No, no, not level twenty. <laughs> no. Just, just, just in case one of us starts a fight with him. 
so we can lay the smack down on us. Oh, no, he is. He is high, much higher than y'all. He yeah, is. He's probably like level 10 at least. <laughs> All right. What do you, what's right. your roll to punch a deer in the face? Do I have advantage on this? Yes, you were stealth. The deer, okay. the deer looks up as you just clock him in the face. Yep, you you hit. You only have advantage on the first one. Oh, so second one I think we'll miss then. Yes, yeah, second one you miss, but the first one you clock him dead in the face, doing four <laughs> bloods and. And surprisingly, that's enough. You knock that deer right in the head, and its neck cracks, and he is down. Nice. Well, she just wanted to knock it out so far. Now, All right, are you going? Are you going? Do you have any movement left to try and go after the second deer at the bush? Yes, actually, I have ten feet of movement left. And oh, wait. Whatever, and as a drunken master, I can move my movement speed plus ten feet every time I do flurry of blow stuff. So okay. I actually so have like you, met, you missed the first one. Give me a second one. Oh, okay, sure. Uh. Wait, not with advantage. So a you no, know, you don't have advantage. Don't worry yeah. about it. Um, twelve hit. Yes, the deer ducks. Its head ducks out, and it just it darts off. It's gone. Oh, uh, no op attack. No, no op attack. It is it, okay. Yeah, you get an op. Attack. I'll let that. He is moving away from you. <laughs> you miss again. Uh, it just this deer. You killed its buddy, and it somehow got magic. It is gone. No, it's not dead. Uh, it's. I need to take it and put it on. There it is. It's gone. The other two deer look up, and they are gone, too. Well, one deer's good. Okay. Uh... Uh, I am going to allow Castilla one more action, right. and then the boars are all going to bolt away. I'm going to attack. Uh, helps if I have the right pointer. This one right here. With. Shouldn't you be attacking the one you already attacked? Actually, that's a good idea. I, I should have said that. I should have said that. that one Hunting, off. how do I do? <laughs> I, I, I stab multiple sure. animals. So we can God's voice them. comes over you and you just. A, vo a mysterious voice coach. Well, I miss. You very saddened by the fact that you you didn't seem to take it down in one hit. Just miss with a second spear. And as you do that, they are they are bolting. They are they are trying to I get off used the map. Ice knife instead. And in other news, we know what Bryn's doing with the berries. All right, there you go. That that would be their movement. If no, that that's not fully. One ducks underneath. The one you've hit gets right to there. He's uh, he's um. These two are off the map. If they're up at the top, they are gone. Okay. So. Okay, that's what you're doing. You still have the. You still have a chance. You got one more. It gets this one right here. Four, five, six. You, you know you have to get. Yeah, you got to get closer. Uh, seven and screw it. I just want to make sure he's dead and I keep opening up my wild shape one instead. Okay. That does not hit. But at the very least, I still need him to make a dex save. <laughs> you know, for a druid who's lived in the woods, you are a terrible hunter right now. <laughs> the monk who lives on the streets as a street urchin is the better hunter. He just he gets a flat D twenty. He fails. So he takes how much damage? Really? Really? Four. Four co ice damage. Really? Huh. Unless he's dead from that. Because God is merciful, and I'm going to say he bled out a little bit from your spear wound, he's dead. Okay. But he's barely dead. He he he, he takes three other steps underneath the tree and then falls over. 
But at that, it's over. All the hunting is done. Harris walks over and picks up his uh, prize, and the, the rest do the same. Mm -hmm. You all go yep. back to camp. And I grab my spears. You get half of them back. All right, so I grab one then. Okay, we go back to the Griceland map. We go back Brynn to the drags world back map. her deer and her wine skin full of berries. Okay, you are in the middle of the forest now. Hey, Catilla, do you want to try this uh, berry bush? I grabbed the berries and was going to make it into wine. Can I examine the berries and see what kind of berries they are? I mean, the deer was eating them, so I would assume they're fine. But fine, yeah, fine, here you go. Fine. They, may they be... are blackberries. Ooh, those are good ones. They're blackberries. That's they kind of look more stuff. purple. Eh, they're really tasty and tart. Well, it will make good wine. Okay. And I also got a deer. She holds up the deer. Also, yeah, we weren't there for long enough, so even though I said I left a trap down, it probably didn't pick anything up. No. This okay. was a action hunt. This was not a trap and wait hunt. Okay. I like getting does my trap back. Want, does anybody want the antlers? That would be nice. Thank you. Add them to your. Yeah. Are you guys back at camp now where everyone is? Yep. Okay. I drag the unconscious deer with me. You see, you see Bren start to build a makeshift spit roast. And he, he, he skewers the boar, slaps it on it, and just starts to slowly cook his. What are you guys I, doing? I, uh, Bring my uh, start skinning the boar that I have for like uh, the nice good meats, separating it all, and uh, you know, like keeping the t the tusks like as uh, souvenirs. Okay, you write down that you have two boar tusks, and uh, Brim, you can write down you have two antlers, two sets of antlers. They're not yeah. huge. These were not. These were not the alpha deer or whatever it, what it's called. The buck, the ultimate buck. The, yeah, the the large buck. These were adolescent deer. The one you got was definitely male. Well, I now know what I'm serving everybody. All right. Uh, does anyone have anything else they want to say or do? Nope. Are those blackberries you got? Uh yeah, they are. Uh, they're <coughs> going to be fermented into a wine. Why? Could I take a couple? Oh, fine. She'll take some I, of them out. I pluck two and I bring them over to my donkey and give it to her as a treat. Your donkey is very appreciative. And Bryn, it's, uh, it's very rare that she gets some fruit like this. Very right, from, is, uh... I promise, Daisy, when we get back home, you're going to get a nice apple. Old bush shot. Right, besides yep. that, is there anything anybody wants to say otherwise? Uh, then we're going to progress guess, throughout like, the night. Hey, not say after skinning in, like when I can, I help cook the uh, boars. All right. Putting, like, the uh, little you bits. all have you all have a very nice combination of veal, berries, and uh, pork. You mean venison? Venison. Sorry, yeah. venison. Wow. Uh, this was this this actually wasn't a boar. It was a cow. Pork, a baby cow. Pork is boar. Yep. Yeah, no. You're well, you cow. said veal, and veal. Oh, is yeah, baby yeah, yeah. Cow. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize it was joking. Yeah. So you guys, you guys have a good hearty dinner. Um, would anyone want to preserve some of the meat for later on the trip? Yes. Uh, Absolutely. That's, that's the plan. Uh, so Bryn's gonna be making a specific thing. Uh, blood wines. Uh, so I'm going to have to say that you would not have the equipment of okay, traveling well. to fully make this. You could make maybe a couple of bottles. I mean, I don't need to make a large amount, you know, one or two bottles is still one or two bottles of booze, but this is what you do your entire shift 
and you're going to take disadvantage on the perception check because you that's... are going to be bu busy doing something else overnight. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's fine. And Ren's going to make soup for people. Okay. And um... everyone has a hearty meal. Does anyone else want to pipe up? Like helping salt my jerky. Well, make some boar jerky, which I already stated. Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. And we progress to the morning. You guys have successfully created, I'm going to say, 15 days of extra rations. Um, 15 to be divided. Each? Up. 15 days for the whole party. Okay. So you have, an, you have a You have a moderate-sized deer and an entire boar. You you got a fair bit of meat here besides what you ate. Um, everyone packs up. So we can add fifteen each. Add fifteen days of rations. Uh, no, so, yes. Oh, yes. I thought it was like days. I thought it was fifteen divided by three. No, fifteen days each. Oh, even yeah. better. I'm thinking you're underestimating how big a boar is. It's yeah. just like usually I think when people so say, too. yeah, it's just like just usually when people. That's say why I was making sure it was each because it was like, yeah, each yeah. made more sense. You yeah, essentially you... made jerky, is what you made. Yep. You made a. You didn't make jerky, but you made salted meat. It'll last for a while. Um, anybody want to do anything special in the morning? Uh... Um. Contemplate uh, uh, assassinating our mage, but deciding not to because he's useful. Okay, I'm going to like try and search like the nearby area to like see if there's like any tracks of. No, like, that Bumner. would be something you would do. Uh, that that's not what I mean. I mean okay. like special ritual or anything in the morning. All right. Um. Uh, okay. Y'all all gather on your horses. You notice that Harris half his boar is gone. Don't know how he put it all away, but he 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 did. Um. He, all right, so you all get on the horses and you're traveling towards the manor, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Y'all are traveling at a standard pace. Nothing really catches your eye. Do we see you any of those get... ruins that uh, the horse mentioned? Uh. Give me anyone who wants to be looking for the the ruins in the forest. You give me a perception check. All right, hold on. Give me two perception checks. I'll allow. Oh, right. Fuck, we're gonna have to do this. Okay, wow. <laughs> This was supposed to be a random encounter. This was this was just thrown in at the last minute. But here we go. It's like, guys, I found the ruins. It's All right. There. All right. You guys, as you start traveling through the forest, you you notice that there seems to be this strange worn stone. You don't you don't quite understand why it would be in the middle of the forest. And as you continue going, you see more of it and you go off the beaten path a bit. A little bit, a bit, a little bit that way, and you find. Go. We have to do the jump. Jump. So there we go. You find these ruins. You all will be down here. I assume we don't see this. Down where? Down here. Okay. Is there a reason we're investigating ruins that have nothing to do with our mission? This was a random encounter. If you guys had rolled a one on a perception check to avoid during your travels, or you actively searched for it and rolled an 18. Are we supposed to see that guy way up there? Yes, you see him. Proud of day. He is turned around. He does not see you. I think we could make note of this on our map. Come back. He does not. Day. He is not hiding. He is proud of where he is. You can hear him screaming out loud. You don't know what he's saying. And Looking I, at that thing, could do I have even the most remotest idea? I what will that thing find is? out. I am. Ha I was not prepared for you guys to do this yet. So, which to me means I think we might need to turn back and come back later. One. Okay, so that's this is where we die. One. 
page 189 for the hook horror. He speaks, doesn't say, but he is a monstrosity. So he he's not actually speaking any real language. He's just kind of wailing in animal sounds, but they're not quite what you what you would normally dictate to be an animal sound. Does he taste like chicken or duck? You are obsessed with food. His character's goal in life is to taste at least one of everything he comes across. Okay. Apparently. He does not notice you yet. You are all... All right, I have to do Bren. I am sorry. I keep forgetting. It's okay. Uh... I mean, right, you all position here, yourself can... down here, and I am going to pull up this. Are we uh, okay? I, I mean, guess we're I mean, fighting. I well, I probably should have specified, like you know, get an idea of where they are, mark it down on the map, and come back later. But I failed to mention that. Which just like, hey, fuck it. Also, also Bryn was like, hey guys, look, there's something in there. We're here to hunt and goblins. Then Bryn's but... like, oh fuck, it hurt us. I, hey, I don't know why you're doing it, but you are. I think we could turn around. We saw this, uh, we can mark it on our map, and we can turn around. Bye, That's going to be up to you. Uh, I want initiative rolls from everybody. Uh, oh, boy. All right. Tom is what part of our job is defending the country. And yeah. you now just alerted us to a, pre to a problem. Yes, yeah, that is part, much. actively part of the problem. This is something this you is... found on your patrol. Yep, this is technically our responsibility to take care of now that we have come across it. Do we do we know that this is a hook horror? No. No, nope. I just said that because I like the name. No, no, that's fine. I just yeah. I want to know. Do we do you, you want us Characters? to Characters no, do not uh uh what's a if you have a nature check. Yeah, go ahead. I already rolled. I rolled a 13. I'm going to say no. You you do not know what this is with a 13. Who rolled a 15 nature? Uh, oh, me. You know this is a hook horror. This is a this is a large monstrosity <laughs> that is that is rarely seen in this day and age. It's not super dangerous, but you still need to be careful around it. It likes to hook onto you and it will keep attacking if it can you also know this... with a 15 that it has keen hearing and that's it so someone uh, right, or Flux, second, are you I sharing this with her sure all right okay. let me roll real quick So, he in sort right. of a quiet tone to Simon, I said, um, is this thing a natural occurring beast or no. something that normally... This shouldn't be seen up here. Unless All you right. want it to be here, but it needs to not be here. Okay. Is that everybody on the initiative list? Looks like I think so. Oh, no, we're missing... We're missing one person. Who are we missing? We're missing the monk. Okay, I'll reroll my initiative. You have to be holding. You have to have your icon clicked. There we go. There, there it is. It was being derpy. I was okay. clicking. And hopefully, I get it correct this time. All right. So as you you come across these ruins, uh, for the record, each one of these little walls is about knee high. It takes five extra feet of movement to walk over them. But okay. otherwise, they do not impede you. Oh, hey. That's good. It appears that this used to be some used to be some type of temple or castle. Most of the outer walls are just gone, except for the back one, which has which is is it's about to go. 
most of the inner walls have been laid bare down to down to about knee height. Some of them aren't even there anymore. Um, you could see traces of stairs, but if there was ever a second floor, you could never tell with its current state. Blood bleed. How do we want to do this? Prioritize, prioritize offense or defense? Offense. I mm. believe I was asking you. But thank you for your input. So these Zons call. Mm. Offense. Offense, very well. Is it my right. turn? It's this. Yes, it is your turn. You are to start us off. And again, unless unless you deem it tactically more advisable, stay at least five feet away from each other. Okay. Okay. Simon is going to move up here. He is going to first make everyone look at him. And then with Ravishing Beauty, he's going to give everyone their hit points and a move seat. Yay. Yay. Something I forgot to add. A hook horror is normally seen in the Underdark. You don't know how one is above ground or why it's here. But you do know it is an aggressive territorial creature. So it's probably a good thing you're deciding to try and take it out. Catilla, shape, smoke. Oh, yeah. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Uh, let's see. Five extra health, and you get to move your speed right now. Two. Five. Six. Okay. I will say, for your sake, you can hide behind these walls if you like. They are high Good enough that and you were, if the, they are high fine. enough that you could duck behind them. Rone. Good enough. That that's good to know. And ducking. Okay. Want me to roll a stealth check for that? I'm going to actually have to roll something and no. measure something out. Just a move, guys. Okay. Yeah, it's just a move. You don't get to do anything else. How long is his blind uh his blind scent? You want me to look that up for you? By the no, way, the, the move. Well, I know he's got blind sight. Never mind. By the way, the move cancels reaction. You guys shouldn't have anything that really takes up reactions this early, but just letting you know. I do. Okay, okay so it cancels a reaction. All well, right. actually, let me see here. Too. His perception check is. Mm. He just he still does not know you or guys are there. He yeah, is we'll, still screaming and ranting at the wall for some reason. We'll, we'll rectify that. Follow the bullet. Very fire. Make a deck safe. <laughs> he, good call. He has not. He gets a nine. Um. So everyone gets advantage on any attacks against him. Awesome. So the next, Free sneak attack. Yeah, and how? What's the range of fairy fire? 60 feet and everything within 20 feet of him. Okay, you have you have sprung my trap. You have activated my trap card. Yeah. Prepare to die. You have uncovered my trap. Congratulations. Oh, Here you no. see little mud goblins. Cool, make their dexies too. They, they would have failed. They would have been in okay. their in inactive state. <laughs> Then they're glowing too. That's why I'm uncovering them. Normally, they are in. They are not perceivable. They are normally just in their in their non-attacking state. Your fairy fire uncovers them all. You know, and I need to roll for their initiative. It's like a beautiful rave in there. Get killing. <laughs> well done. Well done. They have a plus one to initiative. They rolled yeah. a five. That's, by the way, that's pretty lucky because if if you had chosen defense zone, that was a bane spell going at the hook core, which would not have revealed, revealed these guys. <laughs> okay, I need to add them to turn, and they are last on the list. They don't get a turn. This they are they are shocked and surprised that they are uncovered. What the fuck is this? It's everywhere. <laughs> it's light. 
What light? It's like ah, a Simon UV is... light exploded. Simon, is that your turn? Yes, that is Simon's turn. Smoke, you are up. Okay, let's see. Huh. Shoot that hole. one, two. You have advantage on everything, by the way. You don't have to hide or anything. Yeah, I'm aware of this. That's why I'm deciding. Or... Okay. And uh, I'm going to shoot at uh, him. Okay. Which one? Oh, okay. Little. Oh, 23. You have advantage. It hits. By the way, I don't know how methods work, but they also can't turn invisible while being under fire. Yeah. Um, so that's 12 damage, and that's my turn. Okay. One second. He's looking hurt. You. He is bleeding mud. You. He is. He is unable to fully control his little mud goblin form now. Awesome. Okay. That is your... The hook goblin... I mean, the hook horror turns around... Why? In common. And and that's his turn. He, ca he was shocked and is surprised by this sudden attack. Turn of events? Yes. Sudden rave party. But you are shocked to hear him speak in common. Oh. He All he right. only said one word. He said, Why? And then he is looking angry and he is doing that thing you do with if you have two swords where you're kinda not sharpening them with his claws. Yeah, now. they're like breaking it against each other. Yeah. And he is he looks like he's about to charge. Okay. okay. Brian, your turn. I mean Bren. Mm -hmm. Bren. I I picked I picked such a complicated uh Bryn's gonna This go is Neil Tag. Even, even Steve would give him some kind of difficulty somehow. It's, uh, it's... I got Bryn's it right. Go I got and, it right. Uh is gonna knee that mud goblin in okay. mud goblin face. You have advantage on the first attack. Wait, it's all attacks, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yes it is. Oh, oh it's like, until yes. the fairy fire goes away. Oh, are I you think. going to you going to go into patient defense? Or are you going to go for a uh, flurry of blows? That's a hard choice. Well, that mm, to be fair, I can still just disengage after I get my punch off. Um, I'm not allowing multiple key moves. You get no, no, that, that's just a drunken monk thing. Whenever I oh, okay, no, do no. my bonus action punch, so, right, so I don't you even can still disengage. Defense. Yeah, all right, uh, yeah. I can literally do three punches, then run 50 feet away. All right. Uh, which I'm going to do, actually, because... You missed the last one. You <laughs> are getting prepared to run. So you, you take a half a half fast backswing on him with your fist, and he, he somehow ducks out of the way, but you hit with your first two. Oh, okay. So I do four and seven. So what's that total? That is uh, 11. 11. Three, four. He's looking hurt. Not quite as hurt as the other one that got hit, but he is looking hurt. Hi, boss. I'm back. So Bryn rushes in, knees one, spin kicks. Then when she goes to do the jab, as she retreats, she doesn't get him. And then she basically backflips over. You know, backflip, 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 backflip. Hi, okay. boss. What's up? Is that your turn? Yeah. Gene, you're up. Mm -hmm. So, how does holding an action work again? You declare it. You can it. hold your attack action or a spell, I. But you have to tell me what you're waiting to do. Okay. If you were see. holding a spell, you'd say I'm holding a spell. I let that slide earlier with Fluck, but for net from net going forward, I need to know what it is. His eyes kind of wanting to keep the suggestion a surprise. It's fair enough. You could have just said I'm holding a spell. You don't have to tell me which spell. Okay. I am going to hold. I'm going to hold a spell. 
until he's until the hook horror um moves moves, within, moves into the middle moves within ten to fifteen feet from me. All right, so that'd be right here. All right, understand. Yeah. Yeah, about right. Okay. Castella, your turn. Okay. Right there. So I'm going to move. Get to the right thing here. Also, quick question: You mentioned these things are like knee high. Yes, it takes five. This this is a wall though. This this is still a wall. You can't get over that. But this you can get over. This you can get over. Oh, so if I was to throw a spear, I couldn't hit that guy. You can. You can still see him. He is. He's okay. popped over it. This is just. This would be chest tile. This one right here. Okay. It is slightly stronger than. The, it's slightly higher than the other. All right. So I just move over this one and I toss my final spear at this guy. Okay. Go for a hit. Flies to the. Uh... That is definitely a hit. Remember, you add your strength modifier to the these rolls. I did. Okay. You plop him with a spear. It goes in. It does some damage, but it flies out the back of him. That's weird. You're weird. All right. All right. That's that. Does anyone speak Terran? No. Or Aquin? Nope. Nope. Then all you hear is gibberish. Ah! Ah! And that's their turn. It is Simon's turn. I would have thought the giant bird monster with two giant claws for hands would have been the main target, but whatever. Simon's going to pull out a, a handful of rose petals and cast sleep. Okay. If this works, Make I'm going to roll. laugh. Well, with the damage, it may take a... More he has to roll, more. and then I have to judge which goes to sleep. 23 hit points worth. Current hit points, not total. I know. Start with the lowest. Yep. Boop. Boop. That's all you get. Those two are asleep. You see them kind of go back into this muddy goop. You could still sort of make out their form, but they are no longer up and flying. They are just on the ground, kind of just bubbling there. That your Including turn? the one that's bleeding. Yeah, they're both dead. Uh, and then I'm going to give... Bardic Inspiration to Jean. All right. You have Bardic Inspiration, John. Now remind remind him what he can add that to. Attack roll, saving throws, or ability checks. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Smoke, it's your turn. Unfortunately, the one you were targeting is now behind a wall. That's fine. It has, it would have half cover if you tried to attack it. That's fine. It's, it's passed out, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. I'm just going to attack this one instead. And we still have combat advantage, so that's always nice. <laughs> I wrote 24-24. Sleep does is not concentration, so you are correct. You still have advantage. Oh no, don't worry. I'm tracking that shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just checked. I had to check. Eighteen. You did a whopping eight point eighteen points. He is hurt. He is barely able to maintain his form now. He nearly collapses every once in a while when he's flapping his mud wing. Is that all you're going to do? Uh, yeah, I think so. 
Okay. It is the hook horror's turn. He is mad. He, you are attacking its friends, and it is going to rush forward at the first target it sees. Oh, that's good. I was worried me. The were bad, guys. I was worried the methods were tormenting this creature. Make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Okay. Its wisdom is. That would be an eight. N Neil. It drops prone and ends its turn. Does it understand your language? It spoke it, common. If it spoke common, then it maybe. It spoke one word in common. It didn't speak anymore. Hmm. You know, it you does not general. understand your language, and your spell is ineffective. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm not too dismayed. Continue your charge. How much? What's his movement? 30? 30. Yeah, no, it gets right up to you, and it looks you dead in the face, and it's going uh, for... And... It's going for its multi-attack. And so I get... What's it, what's it called? Attack of opportunity? Oh, no, no, wait, no. I... No, it entered your... It didn't run away. It didn't leave your attack area. It just entered. No, no, I was thinking of something else. Something so I don't... It raises its claws high and starts to do an X strike against the front of you. Does a 12 hit? No. It, do you have a shield? No. Okay. It it tries to strike you, but you just you just kind of duck out of the way. Oh my god! <laughs> it ineffectually tries to slice you twice, unable. You just for a man. What type? What armor are you using? Um, let me let me see. I actually I need to check the. I think it's whatever. I got sixteen armor class. I'm trying to think. We'll say chain for now. Right. I think that's like for a male. man in chain. It just can't seem to hit you. You just you just you just side. Stepping its claws, you seem to be in the zone, knowing exactly where it's swinging for. Was, it looks, it looks at you with blood red eyes, filled with anger at this. That's are we turn. anchoring the giant duck? <coughs> it's a chicken. Ren, it's your turn. I'm sorry, Flux. Go ahead. He said it's a chicken, not a duck. Pretty sure it's a duck. Oh, when it's dead, we'll decide to find out. Bren, it is your turn. So she she moves over to there, and ah, she flips over the wall. Uh, you lying. take you take attack of opportunity if you try to do that. Not for moving through its area. Uh, if you try to move, oh, you mean you flipped over the wall to get to him? Fine, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not moving out yeah. of it. No, it's fine. Yeah. Go. Yeah, and I won't get an attack of opportunity after I attack, because I can disengage. Okay. Action free. Yeah. Just say disengage, uh, and I do. Oh, you have critted. On a yep. punch, you, you do a flying kick right to the beak. Okay, go ahead and do. If you're going to do more attacks, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to do all. Three. You then, you then coming back down, smack him in the temple, and finally, you as you're about to land, you left one punch to the gut. All of those hit. Uh... Well, well, that's going to be a nifty uh, 19 damage to the bird. Eight. Yeah, okay. Uh, and as she flies through, uh, she's going to springboard off and disengage. One, two, three, four, five over here. Can you guys see the health bars, by the way? No, we can't. No. No. Okay, good. Thank you. It it tries to angularly swing at you, but it just can't seem to make make your uh you you just your movements are too erratic. It can't seem to get a bead on you. She's swaying like a as he flips. Okay, past. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Jean, you're up. I bring my great sword to bear and I swing into the beast. And what does Spartic Inspiration do? You, you re-roll. 
No, it, he rolls something else and he adds to it. Flux, what's your current bar, bar directoration die? You get to roll a d6 and add it to the attack roll saving throw or ability check. Okay, give me a second. Would you like to add it to that roll? Yeah. Okay. As you know that a beautiful patron is watching. You do not want to fail him. You barely hit adding that bardic inspiration die. Roll for damage. Nine, and I use smite. Okay, add damage. So that would be... Do you have to roll to hit with smite? I thought smite was just extra damage. I'm still trying to work on the macro. Oh, so 19, 19 damage. Okay. We've done 38 damage to it. Yay. <laughs> it's looking hurt. It is not happy. It is starting to bleed from the uh, sword slash, and it has bruises, and its beak is slightly cracked. Oh, oh, you poor thing. If you could only speak what I spoke, you wish you would have listened. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Castilla, right. you're up. Bonus action. Bloop. Uh, okay, I'm going to grab your character and put it down here. All right. And, and I'm going to expand your form. Yep. Yeah. Move over. Make right my here. monster grow. And numb. Okay, go for it. You definitely hit. Also, it must be this a 13 uh, DC strength check. Can I meet it? It's strength. I will roll for right now. Yes, it definitely beats your strength check. I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, next turn. And you do six damage to it. It's it's not happy. It, you are wearing this thing down. And now it has another big thing to look at. All right. That's the end of your turn. Yep. These two would have attacked Red and uh, backed up the hook car, but they can't. <laughs> they are currently asleep. However, yep. a monk has come into the territory. This one flies up right behind it. And since it is flank it, it has advantage on its attack against you. Is that a rule we're doing? Yes. Okay. Uh, That's fine. Let's see. It, oh, its attack is very weak. Damn. Probably not going to hit even with it. We'll see. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, that is some shit. <laughs> you never know. You could roll that 20. Okay. This one's going to roll for damage. That is a... Oh, wait. That's right. That is a 15. It ducks to the side. Huh. Is there a breeze? Okay. The second one, seeing you duck, is going to reel back and spit mud all over you. I need you to roll a, D, uh, a DC 11 dexterity check. Okay. Uh, you well. save. You successfully duck out of the way as a, as a viscous mud would splatters to the ground. Oh, come now. This isn't a private event. Don't do that in public. Oh, Mephits. Those goblins. Okay, Discuss that the is creatures. their turn. Simon, you are up. Simon's going to point at the at the hook horror. And an ear-piercing <laughs> screech is going gonna, is gonna to erupt in the hook horror's ears that only it can hear. Okay. Needs to succeed on a wisdom save. Okay, here we go. That is going to be a four. So it takes fourteen damage and has to use its reaction to move as far away from me as, as possible. Okay, it takes fourteen more damage. Damn, guys. So as a reaction, it just means it runs away right now. Yep. Which means uh. Op attacks. 
Papa Tex. It is not looking good, guys. It don't, is. Don't fuck with the battlefield controller. <laughs> don't fuck with the yellow mage. I want to mention this was supposed that hits. It's you have advantage. This I also would have had advantage. Be either a, way. This was supposed to be a hard to deadly encounter. Also, I would have gotten advantage anyway because he technically was as he was leaving, running away. Okay, that is seven. That is seven. Piercing. Also, the uh, DC strength check. Uh, we're gonna see that in a second. He may not be up to do that. Okay, he is still alive. He is barely holding on, and he is. You can't do two smites in a row. No, you can't. You only got that one attack. Can't do smite twice, dude. So. Wait. Are you sure? It's just yes. against opportunity attacks of opportunity. You only get one attack. Okay. Wait, no. Doesn't smite just add to? I don't, don't know. I haven't played a paladin. So I, I you can only it. do smite once per turn, though. Mm. Right? No. Uh, you smite gets hit, complicated hey, because when you hit things... a creature with a melee attack, I can expend one slot to deal radiant damage to the target. Yeah. Condition. No. It's no. dead. It's it, you have it. You does not need to make this strength check. It is gone. Hook mm -hmm. horror collapses onto the ground. Not bad. Successfully defeated. And then Simon is going to issue a one word command to, to the party: kill. And everyone gets. And he's going to do the bardic inspiration thing again. Everyone gets to move. Okay. You get There's to position this yourself. Where right looks at you like, like, where the fuck am I going to go? If anyone has lost hit points, which they have not, <laughs> you get to <laughs> have hit points back. You know, this was supposed to be a hard battle, and I rolled shit for the every dice. Attack. Do that to you sometimes. Yeah, that's what should be an easy no, I'm fight. Not, I'm not complaining. I'm happy. You guys are doing very well. Flux rolled a, D, uh, a uh, good bard, and although I hate I hate his character, I like it for battle. Yeah. All right. All right. That is. Do you just get movement, or do they get to attack? Just movement. It. It's the right. it's the enthralling presence. Thing. All right. It is unconscious. It is helpless. You have advantage, and if you hit, it's an automatic crit. Smoke. I'm actually not going to attack that one. I'm actually still attacking that one. Okay. Still have advantage, meaning you still get sneak attack. You... Let me check something. You barely... You know, you hit. Never mind. That was the hook R. You hit, and it is... Before you even did sneak attack, it was... Gone. That your turn? Yep. Well, the hook horror doesn't have a turn because it's fucking dead. Yep. It looses its bowels. Bryn, you're up. Uh, it, uh, Bryn's going to punch the shit out of this method. Which one? The one next to her. Okay. It's still up. That uh, one has not been hit once yet. Yep. I'm going to go all in on this because might as well. Okay, you, you, you're just smacking, you smack both wings, throwing mud off, and then you smack it in the chest, leaving a hand-sized impression of the mud is just gone. Roll damage for all three. Five. Five and six. So 16 total damage. It's looking hurt. It's looking real hurt. All right, that your turn. Yeah. Uh, well, you I know, mean, just because she's going to uh, disengage, roll over here, and then hug the dog. Okay. Hug the wolf. All right, Gene, it is your turn. How uh, how many key points you have left, dude? I'm out. I think that's it for you. That's yep. your last one with the disengage. Greetings. You hit. It's dead. 
you cleave through it and it just both sides slop into a mud puddle on the ground. <laughs> Castilia, you're up. Well, you have no. a sleeping hurt mud mythic right on the ground. We none. Nom. Thank God you have a vantage. It is an automatic crit. Cr keep in mind. Okay, so then that adds an additional. Just roll another uh, your damage dice. It is fucking dead. I'm guessing it tastes you terrible. You bite it. It tastes like it tastes like oily, goopy mud. You spit it out. But when at, while you're spitting it out, it's just goo now. There is no life left in the body. Is that your <laughs> turn? Yeah, that's my turn. This one would do something, but he's still asleep, unaware that everyone else is dead. <laughs> and he's about to join them. Sweet dreams. Should we take another prisoner? No. Uh, Simon, he doesn't. They, these guys clearly do not understand your language, for the record. Oh no, I understand. I understand the terror of fear, but job is to keep these safe. All if we right. wish to interrogate them, though they do not seem to speak our language, we can. If not, I say we end their miserable little lives. Simone is going to just walk in and enjoy the carnage. That's his turn. <laughs> I'm going to take out my reaper and stab the uh, one next to me now Your that. Your reaper? A rape. rape. Yeah. I was okay. No, so I used to say rap. No, 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 no. I was looking up information on a character on a reaper character for something unrelated to this, and I said reaper instead of rapier. No, no, no. Because his rapier it's has fair the name. Enough. Okay, roll to reaper hit. You have advantage, and it is an automatic crit on a hit. You hit. And you you crit your sneak attack, it's dead. If you want to have your shiny high number, you can roll it, but it's fucking dead. I don't... I don't have a crit. It's an automatic crit on a helpless opponent. Oh! Yeah, it's just you gotta manually yep. put it in the... That's, That's right. Coup de works. Do I need it? No, it's all. it was dead already. Okay, then I'm not That's gonna That's why roll I said it. if you want your shiny happy number, you can roll nah. it, but it's fucking no. dead. It's only gonna be an extra D8. That was a good so, fight. Uh, that was a that was a hard, solid hard encounter, guys. Um, was it? Yes, it was. That was a, according to the DMG, that is a solid hard encounter. Uh, you look around the ca carnage. The the mythits are just puddles of goo. Um, the hook har is bloodied and broken. You. You look around the ruins to make sure there's nothing else there, and you find someone write this down. So I Thank fully you, intend to continue playing this. Okay. It's 30... time to end, actually. No, I mean I mean I mean another session. Oh, 34 okay. what? 35 gold. Okay, putting it down on my sheet. 45 silver. Got Not it. 45, 95. Sorry, it's hard to see. 300 copper. You also find an interesting pair of uh, goggles that seem to be in the shape of a bird. You don't quite understand what they are, but they definitely catch your eye, Simon. Okay, so I just wrote down everything into uh, RPG All right. chat. You also find a glistening silver circlet with a red gem in the top of it it's another thing that definitely catches your eye simon Bryn puts on the circlet nothing happens i know she just likes wearing it okay uh before we call it would a certain person like to ca cast identify Okay, question. How many players... Let's see. How many players do we have here again? Four? Five. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, I'll cast identify. Just, just 
just to speed it up. Or actually, I guess. I mean, as a ritual, you yeah. can do it. I only have one use of it, so. As a ritual, as a ritual. You have okay, I'll just cast identify on both of them. You you see that the these goggles are in fact eyes of the eagle. And I'm gonna post that in RPG chat. Eyes of the eagle. That's cool. These crystal lenses fit over the eyes. While wearing them, you have advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on sight. In conditions of clear visibility, you can make out details of even extremely distant creatures and objects as small as two feet across. All right, so I wrote down the breakdown of uh, what we each get in, in terms of the gold split to each of us. And the circlet is a circlet of blasting. While wearing this circlet, you can use you can use you can use an action to cast Scorching Ray spell with it. When you make the spell attacks, you do so with an attack bonus of plus five. The circlet can't be used this way again until the next dawn. Hmm. Hmm. The eyes of the eagle require attunement, but the circlet of blasting does not. Nice. I'm still wearing the circlet. I'm going to claim the uh, the uh, eagle eye. Or eyes of the eagle. Does anybody have any objections to this? I don't mind whoever wants the circlet. I just like it. But if someone else really thinks they want it or need it, I don't mind giving it up. It is a one. It is an extra. Fr it's a free spell once per day. But it could help me because I don't really like to carry much ranged on me. And the ability to fire lasers of fire from my forehead sounds awesome. I have no objection of current people claiming certain items. Does anybody have... wish to contest? No. Simon? I think you okay. Do you want it? Do you want the circlet? It would look very pretty on you too. Uh, okay. Yeah. You know, quick question. Can I yes. find the one solitary spear that I threw? Yes, you can find it. I'm not gonna make you. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna find my two arrows. That spear. The, you can find all your ammunition you used on the mud methods. Uh, they are. Oh, really? They are made of mud. You essentially did damage by removing parts of their body, awesome. and then your ammunition essentially was slowed down. Preventing it from cracking against walls or anything. Neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where is Eye of the Eagle for my character sheet? Well, guys, that was a good first session. How did everyone like it? I liked it. Pretty good so far. That was good. That was interesting. I... Really happy I could join today. It's good having you back. I hope you can join next week. Because uh, it'd be two weeks. sad to have to write your character going mad and running off into the forest for some strange reason. I assume in, in two weeks, not next week, right? All right, two weeks, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are we doing anything next week? No. no. We oh, play uh, every other week. I, I was making sure. Uh, if anybody wants, I could run Slasher Flick. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. We we seem to do good with playing every other week. Uh, are you doling out experience points? No, this is milestone leveling. Okay. Yay. Okay. Just wanted to know. I didn't know how you were uh, running it. So, any complaints? Any crit feedback? Any criticism? Something yeah, your intro was a little too long. <laughs> I don't like our cat. We need a different one. Let's take this uh, one back. He needs to be a different. How about a red cat? Can we get a spray bottle to spritz the cat for when it's being bad? He doesn't socialize well with others. Yeah, we want a dog. Dogs socialize well better. Uh the intro was supposed to be long. It was supposed to be to establish a few things, get you in the mindset of what this world is, and, I think, and I think to establish jealous. who was a leader. Who was going to be your a leader and who was going to be your backup leader? I want to be fair. Bryn was probably half the time goofing off. Well, fair enough. 
Again, you guys are supposed to be special forces. You are given more freedom than people who just do basic training. Well, I mean, to be fair, having known some special forces guys, the goofing off thing fits far more than it should. All right. All right. I'm glad everyone had fun. Let me... Yeah, and I'd say we gelled very well as a group. Yes. Let's move this map all the way down to the end with the other ones that have already been used. Friend likes the puppy and her bard friend, Seaman. And then back to the top of Grants. And you are now right here in the forest. And we'll say that it took you a while to find the ruin. It was dusk and you all set make up camp. And that will then that's where we'll officially end. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Cook horror. What does it taste like? You don't want to know. Okay. It tastes it tastes like turtle. It tastes like turtle meat. Okay. I'm okay. But with this. it tastes like tastes like turtle meat that's been turned bad. By the way, um just a quick character thing. I want to suggest to Harris. After we kill the Hakor, to probably have someone search these forests. Since we can't continue, we can't stay here and search to find out where this Hakor came from. But that's probably the thing of note. He'll say, I will make sure to put it in my report. A very reasonable request. Yep. Yes. And he will also pipe up, you definitely get a few extra points for taking something Reese that was King not in your submission out of the equation that would have endangered the area eventually so what are the odds that at that sm smoke would have shrugged and goes and goes well it was part of it would be a part of our duty eventually so what's the over under that harris's horse hired the hook order to be here Why <laughs> the horse, ruins? Uh, the horse was planning to kill us all the hook horror was supposed to take out harris <laughs> <laughs> all right well i need to get going so i'll see you guys later right, good night man Bye. No worries. And I've heard of Boy Brynn is kind of being a uh, lackadaisical. Yes, one that so.